And we're live. Hello everyone and welcome to another stream. So, how is everyone doing today? Because I am exhausted. <laughs> uh, it, it's been a long few hours. I have been composing music to a scene of a movie for a few... A day. A whole day. Non-stop. <laughs> you could say a whole day. Because, yeah, I've been doing it for hours, but between the hours I was dedicating to it um, yesterday and today, you could say I've been a few, uh, a day and something. But hey, it is what it is. It's all in the name of studying, right? <laughs> ah, hydration. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> oh, I thought I cut the stream there for a second. I was about to go ballistic. Anyways, let's get on with it. Let's let's move. Let's go. Let's play. Let's relax with Zillax, right? Let's make that a let's say let's make that a saying. Relax with Zillax. Yeah, I'm 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 owning it. <clears throat> so, uh, extra. I see you have been in chat. Well, hello if you're there. Uh, I see Tank in here. Welcome in. How are you doing? You you missed one of the S's. <laughs> and Patman, welcome to the stream as well. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. Make yourselves at home. <clears throat> we shall continue where we last left off. Um, so yeah, let's go. I I'm ready. I'm pumped. I'm not. No, I'm not pumped. I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm prepared to stream. That's the oh. Remember what I said about being scared if I found one of the legendary dogs and I wouldn't be prepared? Yeah, about that. <laughs> I am not prepared. Um, how do I do? What do I do? How do I capture you? Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> he ran away. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Anyways, um, that was a encounter and a half. So for all of you youngsters around here, just so you know, these are, don't worry, it hasn't been, it hasn't escaped forever. These are the type of legendaries that roam around. What does that mean? They will move from town to town? Well, area to area, better said, and good luck trying to find them and capturing them. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. As long as long as it's not dead, I can just find it again and capture it. Oh, hey, simply thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my my throat is a little bit wonky because I, I haven't slept, and uh, my voice is a little bit tired. But here I am, hydrated with Powerade because I have no water today. <laughs> so I have a, a bottle of Powerade with me. So, Kurt, you got my balls? Ah, oh, Zillax, no. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Zillax, I just finished your Pokeball. Here. Friends balls. You made me friends balls. Alright, not gonna question it. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna make some more. I got you some apricorns. Oh yeah, sorry about that extra. Uh, suppose, just think of it this way. The sooner I stream, the better, right? <laughs> Question mark? As long as I'm not too late to the... It's just that I had to move the stream a little bit forward because I was composing the song and I had to eat and stuff. And I was like, oh, maybe I won't make it to the stream, so I'll just put it at this hour, just in case. But I got here a little bit earlier, so sure. There you go. That's why I'm earlier. Neko, welcome! How are you, pal? How you doing? Welcome in. <clears throat> we are currently picking up balls from Kurt. He made me some, um, friends balls. Yeah. 
And and a few seconds before you got in here, I ran into uh, Raiko in the patch of grass, and it ran away. <laughs> it was a great start. That sounded someone who is saying their own. But yeah, that's the joke, Tank. <laughs> that's the joke. <laughs> No, it's okay, Neko. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Do what you need to do. It is okay to miss a stream. I'm always here, and I'm always um, available for anyone to be here. If you want to just rewatch the stream and see anything you missed, my streams are always on YouTube. But as the most important thing out of all that message, um, yeah, don't worry. You you don't have to be here. <laughs> Because you got stuff to do, you know? The life is more important. I'm just part of what your life can be. I'm just happy that people want me to be part of their lives by watching me, right? So I just appreciate the thought as well. But do remember, life is important and there are things to do. <clears throat> be it IRL stuff, be it, uh, you know, like family stuff, work stuff, homework, school, all that stuff is important, so that is a priority, and I always tell people, please focus on the things you need to do. I am an entertainer, but please uh, think about yourselves first. <laughs> I appreciate everyone coming in to say hi, but do your things or I will get mad at you. Uh, I will come to your house and sit you down to make you work or do the things you need to do. <laughs> What am I, a father now? Now now, now I can't escape the dad allegations. This is, this is horrible. This is really bad. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you're back, Neko. Yeah, I got Crobat. Look at this. Look at the team. It's shaping up nicely. Oh, Neko. Oh, I gotta update you. Last stream, we were fighting a fighting type gym, right? And, um... We were losing so bad. Their their final Pokemon, their ace Pokemon, will defeated everyone except Eevee, Neko, you, right? Is to say, you, your Pokemon. So, of course, you know that fighting type utterly destroys normal type, but freaking Neko clutched it and won us the badge. It was so epic. <laughs> I was like, in honor of Neko, who is not here today, you have been the game winner of today. <laughs> it was so epic, man. Neko clutched it out. <clears throat> oh, Chris, thank you for the for the lurk. Sorry, my brain is a little bit scattered. I've been um, awake for 24 hours approximately at this point. I haven't slept correctly because uh, I had to compose a song. Uh, so here's what I had to do, okay? I had to um, compose a song for a, a scene of a movie. So do you know, oh, ad, sorry, sorry, okay, hold on, hold on. I'll wait, I'll wait. Hmm. Oh. Oops. Man, I hate when I hate when the ads interrupt my uh, my story time. <laughs> okay, hopefully, yeah, the message uh, the message went through. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because for anyone who doesn't know, I am also um, I'm all I I'm also streaming on Twitch, and unfortunately, they have ads over there. So I'm just gonna wait until the ads are over. As soon as the ads are over, I will continue my story. <clears throat> oh, what the? Oh, I forgot to. Change. I forgot to silence that. Whoops. What can you hold without your hands? What can you hold without using your hands? Well, a spoon in my mouth. Um, my, uh, dude. I gotta be careful how I phrase this. <laughs> <laughs> I can hold my breath. If that's what you're trying to say, then I, I know the, I know the answer is holding your breath. But if we get creative, I can hold a spoon in my mouth, a fork, food. A bottle of water. <laughs> oh, welcome back, people from Twitch. So, as I was saying, uh, I slept for rarely, uh, for at least only 24 hours because I had to compose a song for my master's degrees, and they said, Here, have a three minute and something scene of a movie. No context whatsoever. You only have to watch what is happening, and you have to compose a song depending on what's happening. Right? 
and um, that's what I've been doing the past few days. Listening to, well, watching the scene over and over and over, and putting music to the scene. And holy fuck, my brain is tired. <laughs> Z demands we take care of ourselves. <laughs> also, Z, stay up over 24 hours for- Hey, hey, what I do is my body thing, right? But I, it is okay to worry for everyone else. I am joking, please worry about yourselves. But, uh, I'll worry about other- Okay, so here's the philosophy, okay? <clears throat> here's my philosophy. Worry about everyone else in a way in a sense that it's like a healthy one right like but also worry about yourself even though i do not uh 100 do it <laughs> because hey it's uh, if i if i can go overkill to fix something i will do it and that is for example a project i had to do <coughs> choking um if you guys want i can show you the only problem is the scene is in spanish and not just any spanish it is in um Argentina uh, Spanish which is a little bit um, it has an accent per se so it's gonna be a little bit hard to understand but I composed the the music to that scene maybe I'll show you guys later if you want <clears throat> but yeah it's finished and now I can move on to the commission that I have to do for someone a VTuber pal um, asked me for a commission for a song for their intro and outro so I'm gonna be working on that next <clears throat> I think I won't have any school tomorrow. Oh, let's go. I'm going to see practice Minecraft. Mm. Sorry, I'm, I'm just drinking a lot of Powerade because I'm thirsty. <laughs> that, that's it. No, no more explanation. That's just it. No. Also, I have a little bit of sad news in a sense. You know I have a dog, right? Duh. Oh, Domino, welcome in. How are you doing? Do you know what you're gonna evolve? Yes, this Eevee is going to be an Umbreon. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, I do have a little bit of a... Will I add subtitles? Well, uh, ugh. I can translate it for you if you want while we're watching it. Oh, hiccups. Okay, as I was saying, um, I'm scattered all over this conversation. <laughs> Yeah, um, so I do have a little bit of sad news. You know I do have a dog, right? My little pupper. Well, he's nine years old at this point. But, um, he's been a little bit not sick. It's just that, uh, he's having a little bit of difficulties walking. He has currently hurt his leg. <clears throat> he has, uh, broken one of the... One of the ligaments in his knees. So, he's gonna have to get an operation next week. But besides that, he's doing okay. He's not in like extreme pain. He just can't walk on one of his four legs. But at least he is okay, right? It's like the doctor did say it's not um it's not anything like urgent or extreme, but you should get that as soon as possible looked so that he can feel better, right? But yeah, he's fine. It's just that I have to limit what he does because he tends to want to jump on my bed and he can't do that right now. Um, he can't go down and upstairs, so I'm keeping him in my room and on the top floor so that he can just walk as little as possible, right? And if he wants to go downstairs, I have to carry him downstairs so that he can eat or go out for a walk, <laughs> right? But yeah, uh, the day yesterday I was super worried, but now today I'm, I'm a little bit better because I do know what is wrong with him and I know how to fix it. So next week, next week we, he's got a little operation. It's not anything complicated. <clears throat> It's just that I feel bad for him because he doesn't really complain. Oh, he is a Yorkshire Terrier. I was just worried because he he doesn't dogs don't complain out of that amount of pain. They they more like their way of complaining about pain is not eating, not drinking, or not walking. So my dog did eat. So in that regard, I was like, oh, so at least he's eating, right? And he's also drinking. But on the other side, uh, he did not want to uh, walk on one of his legs, so that's where I got worried. I was like, okay, I'm I'm tired. I'm I'm a little bit worried that it's not something like for um, muscles or bones. I'm worried that it's something from the brain because sometimes brain stuff can do that, right? Like some sort of parasite or something. But luckily, it was only a ligament. I say only a ligament, but it it, it is an important one, right? 
yeah, they are prideful. They they also like it's. I think it's like an instinct of um trying to. It's like you know that cats uh look for hiding places when they are very sick or very old and they are about to um, die because they don't want to attract predators to their owners. They want to protect you at all costs, so they hide in a secluded place so that predators don't come to where you are. So that's why cats are very prideful about um, about when they're hurt, sick, or dying. Dogs, on the other hand, um, tend to like not eat and stuff, but because they don't feel like they can, and they will want to stay close to you. <clears throat> in both ways, they really love their owners. Both pets do it in different ways, right? But yeah, uh, on a more positive note, my dog is okay. He just needs a little operation. That's all. <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. My throat is so wonky today. Uh, brain hurty. Oh, let, let's 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 go on a more positive note. Uh, I was on my way back. <clears throat> oh my god, I was on my way back driving home, right? Uh, and I was listening to the radio, and of course I am in Spain, so the. <laughs> The radio is in Spanish, but uh, they were doing this, uh, I was on a Latin American um, radio station because it's the go-to for my parents because I share a car with my parents. <clears throat> and um, <laughs> it was currently promoting bars and restaurants that are around the area. And it was, it was so fucking funny. Uh, so it was like, a, uh, bar blah blah blah, the, the place where you can get to your family, prices are very fair, blah blah blah, the coldest beer you will get around the town, colder than your ex's heart, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> they actually said that on the radio, like, what the- <laughs> It was so stupid, but it killed me, man, I was laughing for so long in the car, I was tearing up. It should not have killed me for as much as it did, but it, I did not expect it. <laughs> we got beer colder than your ex's heart. <laughs> oh, it's the perfect. Oh, it's so perfect, man. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, boy. Some things just get you just right and make you. Yeah, yeah. It, Specifically, when you're not expecting it, right? You're, you're out. The, here, okay, should I say this? Uh, I was just being my old ADHD self, and I was uh, stimming. Is it's how it's called? Uh, I was imitating voices, doing voice acting, it's because it's funny. Because the people, the radios in Colombia are so different from the radios of anywhere I hear. Like, you guys know the, the typical radio stations, like, back in the day, like, this is Wombat, you know, those radio stations, those guys from, um, <laughs> yeah, that was a Team Four Star reference, but those kinds of radio stations, the guys that are, like, super hyped and have all sorts of soundboard effects. Well, in Colombia, it's a little bit different. They do have the soundboarding spam and all that, but they're more like, um, uh, Radio Latino, something like that, right? They have, like, a super... <laughs> so dumb so i was just uh <laughs> i was just imitating that kind of a uh, uh voice because i was practicing and it was funny to me i don't know why please ignore it and forget what i just showed you <laughs> but i was just stimming and doing that and then suddenly that commercial went up and i was not expecting it can you tell that i'm hyperactive right now it is mainly because I have, I'm sleep deprived. So when I'm sleep deprived, I get like a shot of dopamine and I become super hyperactive. And that's bad because when I need to go to bed, I ain't going to bed. Man, this Gatorade is good. No, it's Powerade, not Gatorade. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I was in a, while I was finishing up a song, I was visiting a VTuber friend. Uh, their name is One Two. If you guys don't know who that is, he's a uh, <clears throat> he's the one I did a duet with for uh, Escape the City from Sonic Adventure Two. We did a duet kind of thing, a challenge. He, you know, the ones where he posts uh, himself singing. It's like you do this part, and I did that part. Well, it's on YouTube. I, it's his birthday today, so I went to visit and say happy birthday and stuff. It was funny because we we don't really talk. We, we only talked on that one occasion for the duet, 
<laughs> and uh, I went into his chat and gave him happy birthday for a bit while I was lurking and composing music, and he was like, uh, Oh, wait! I know you! You're, you're Z Zillax? Zillax? Yeah, Zillax! You're the guy that I did the duet with! I remember you! <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, hello! <laughs> After when we talked about a potential soul link, my YouTube recommended a bunch of soul links. It's sort of free. Yeah, that's the algorithm. It, it's funny. It's, it's, it's as if whenever you type something, the cookies will save. That's why people get paranoid and um, say that they are spying on you. But no. That's just algorithms and AI stuff. It's not that they're spying. Well, kinda. But it's not the government, It's or anything like that. It's just the... the cookies. They save up to anything you write down to sell you stuff and interest you. Like, oh, you like this? How about this? I'm sure you've been looking a lot of, of this things up. Why don't you play this? Or why don't you buy this? Ugh, it's funny how they created a algorithm to accommodate you. And it just became something annoying and scary for some people, right? But hey, it is what it is. I do always say that uh, technology is there to be for the betterment of our uh, for us, but you know, monkey, monkey. But yeah, it's it gets weird sometimes. I don't know. I'm so sorry if I'm a little bit talkative today. Uh, my brain is super active. <laughs> and I will not shut up. Uh, that and also I have I've been shut in my room for so long. I need social activity help. <laughs> oh, composing music is fun. But hey, at least I'm not stressed in the same. No, no. Let me rephrase that. I'm not the. I'm not as stressed the same way I am for the other thing, because the song I had to compose before was for my master's degree. But the song I have to compose now is for a commission, so now I'm stressed as a, in a different way. I'm stressed as in, is it good enough? Will it work? I hope they like it. <laughs> the other one was more like, will I make it in time? Will I make it in time? Will I make it in time? <laughs> but this one is more of a, oh god, I hope they like it. Oh, I gotta make this perfect. It's gotta be perfect. Hold up, I'm gonna load up my own soul silver file, my DS. I'm feeling nostalgic. Oh, go for it, Akumu. I always enjoy having people play through the game I'm playing, because it's like we're playing together. You know, like back in the day where you just sat down in a park with your friends, and you would be next to one another playing video games, and you would look over your shoulder like, how are you doing? And you would just play at the same time looking at what your friend's doing and see if like you're together at the same place. <laughs> that, that was me, okay? I would look over my shoulder, look at my friend's Game Boy, Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color, like, oh, what part are you on? And try to be at the same place. So it's like, as if we were at the same place together, right? <laughs> because multiplayer was a bit, um, limited back in the day, for those who don't know. I feel so bad for my dog. He, there, e everywhere he walks, he just limps. <clears throat> Sorry, let me read that again. I wasn't reading. Advertising algorithms rarely work for me. Every social media site think I'm a 40-year-old mother. <laughs> oh no! Pretty much the same experience for me too. Oh no. Oh, that's so weird. Dude, algor algorithms are just weird. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I've had... I should keep playing. I keep talking and I forget to play. Sorry. Um... <clears throat> yeah, algorithms are just weird, man. One day, we will have a good algorithm that works in a, you know, actually a good way. Can I electrocute you now? Thank you. Yes, Extra, today we have Energetic Zillax and gaming and outdoors. Welcome in. How are you doing? Sorry, I didn't respond sooner. I was a little bit, um, on a tangent about something. So yeah, just imagine little, little child Zillax, just a mini Zillax playing a Game Boy with friends, uncles, blah blah blah, while sitting next to each other, and I'd be looking over my shoulder just contemplating. Where, which part are you at? Wait for me, I want to be with you. <laughs> I was always more of a, I, I'd lo I love to play with people, right? Mini AI boy indeed. <clears throat> oh, what the f Oh yeah, that's, that is indeed a trap card. He has a fucking Nido Queen, no way! Uh, okay, Quagsire, this is your job, man. We cannot deal with this thing. Holy shit, this guy has a Nidoking. Well, I mean, 
It's not surprising. He has a Moonstone, probably. This is unacceptable! <laughs> unacceptable! Oh, I can't even do those voices right now. I'm limited to what I can voice act today. My throat is wonky. There we go. I have to clear my throat real quick. Luckily, I'm not sneezing. You what? Oh, no. So it begins. Mother. Hello. Oh, hi, Zillax. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping. So I bought it with your money. Mother, this is an intervention. Please, stop. Those are funds I'm, I'm making you save up for me. I have money to spend, and all you buy is berries. Please stop, you have an addiction to shopping. This is why father never came back, please. But I asked the delivery man to take it to you. You should stop by the nearest Pokemart or department store and pick it up. I know it'll be useful, click mother, stop. <laughs> no, she just spends my money. Oh, hey, Pyra, welcome in. How are you doing? It's been a while. <laughs> I'm suffering because my mother keeps spending my money in game. <laughs> Rick and I have a spring dance on Friday. Well, I hope you guys have fun. Enjoy yourselves. I'm not much of a enjoyer of dancing. I know how to dance, but I don't like dancing. Fisherman, what do you have for me? Can you um, give me a super rod? A great rod? A rod? No? Okay. There's actually laws against parents spending their kids' money here in the States. Oh, really? I, I think there's also here in um, in Spain something as well. I think it's, uh, it's also a thing here. If you are entitled to it, like it's 100% it's yours, it's, it's yours. Unless you have given permission, it, it, it's stuck on you, right? It's supposed to be yours. So you can actually uh, say something against them. If you're up for that, right? <laughs> Fuck face. <laughs> uh, if I had a mom like that, I would be so done. Dude, that... <laughs> this, is, this is, of course, a joke in the game, but still, that is a very, very uh, horrible problem to have, right? Oh, yeah. I know who's just standing there menacingly. This guy. Okay, so this is another unique Pokemon, so before we, um, fight it, I want to save because I'm trying to capture every single unique Pokemon or gift Pokemon that they give to us. Stop! You violated the law! Okay, I'm gonna- hold on, I'm gonna open the door for my dog. He wants to- he wants to get out. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave the door half open so that he can come and go as he pleases. Alright, so now that we've saved... Oh, okay, we haven't saved. Hold on. Come on. There we go, okay. Now we're ready. <laughs> and he's back in. Hello. Are you okay? Okay, so this is the first instance of a shiny Pokemon for us, huh? Alright. Oh, he's got Intimidate, that's great. Intimidate cuts your attack in half or something like that, right? First of all... Let's make it stop moving so much, shall we? Ah, Power Raid. What kind of Gatorade or Powerade do you guys like? I'm drinking Ice Storm, the blue one. It has nothing to do with my VTuber, I swear. <laughs> I just like the blueberry taste. <laughs> Some people ask me, what's your favorite color? And they would say, I I I'm guessing it's blue, right? Because look at your VTuber. No, it's red. It's red and black. It's red. <laughs> red is my favorite color. What does Lurk do? And if you already told me, I'm sorry. Oh no, don't worry about it, Extra. You can ask as many times as you need. Um, lurking is like when you are um, 
it, it's it's a command that lets you know that you are here, but you're not talking because you're doing something. It's like when people want to just be on the stream and uh, listen, but can't talk or don't want to talk. They just want to watch the stream, right? So that's what Lurk does. I like the white Gatorade the most. Oh, that one's, wait, was that lemon or something? I don't remember the flavors anymore. <laughs> it's been a while. Well, right now I'm drinking Powerade main, mainly because um, um, I don't have wa a water bottle right now. So this is my substitute for today. Anything to drink is, <laughs> is good enough for me. Um, Great Ball. Let's start with this one. It was unique among the others. Oh, I see. Damn it! I was about to say, did I get it on my first try? No, no I did not. It's white flavor. <laughs> I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. <laughs> oh, for any of you guys who have ever watched ASDF movie. Ah, oh, what a classic. Pie flavor. <laughs> Extra is now lurking. I see. I'm realizing my plan for a second team plan. I'm gonna trade myself a Larvitar and a Scyther with a metal coating from my platinum file. Oh, yeah, that could work. <clears throat> uh, currently, we're using the team, with the first team I ever used in this game, because, um... That's what I'm doing with my normal playthroughs. I'm gonna use the teams I used to have. My first teams, right? <clears throat> For nostalgia's sake, right? Okay, you are getting annoying, Mr. Gyarados. Okay, bye-bye, Flappy. Okay, we're gonna need, um... Something, 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 something. What do we need? I mean, anything is good, so I guess Quagsire can tank a few hits. Well, let's just throw an Ultra Ball at this point. I don't care, man. Now, chuck a ball! That should be enough, right? Not actually leaving. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I, I thought you were leaving. Is it? Oh, there we go. All we needed was a... Watch your words, Zillax. A black and yellow ball. An Ultra Ball. Yes, there we go. Gotta be careful how I phrase things. Hey. Cool. So now we can just... Okay, thank you. Now we can just uh, head down and talk to Lance. What's up? That red Gyarados wasn't acting right. As I feared, someone must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're Zillax. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumblings, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Zillax. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? No. Yeah, sure, why not? Excellent. It seems that the Lake of Rage's Magikarps are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably the cause in that suspicious souvenir shop. I'll be waiting for you in Mahogany, Zelux. I can do that too, watch. But mine's cooler, mine's a bat. Watch this, watch that. I can do that too. So, Ta-da! <laughs> Crobat, go! But I gotta, I gotta stop putting. Relax. Phrase this correctly. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. It's gonna sound weird, man. I swear. Any? Why does anything I say come out weird? Maybe it's just my mind. Maybe it's just my dumb mind. Oh, I missed. Hey yo. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, okay, here's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, I gotta stop putting things in my mouth. But okay, look, hold on. I have ADHD. I tend to want to, uh, 
stim, like have something in my hands or bite on something, right? So uh, if I don't have anything to distract myself with, I, I just bite on anything. Or pick at my... Stop it. Nails? Yeah, nails. Uh, so yeah, that is a problem. I need something to d distract myself with. Okay, stop it. I'm tired of this mosquito! You're making me clap near the microphone. Stop it. Oh, that's not it. This way? Hey, that's the one. Dragonite Hyperbeam! Did he just hyperbeam a human? Bro! <laughs> Chill the fuck down, Lance! I get their Team Rocket and stuff, but dude, holy shit. What took you so long, Zillak? Okay, fuck you. Just as I thought, the strange radio signal is coming from here. Move, four eyes. <laughs> the stairs are right here. Zillax, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Fine, I'll go this way. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, we'll go, we'll go. Mom always told me not to follow strangers. All right, uh, what do I use? I mean, we want to level up our pal, Neko. And we have yet to decide names for the rest of the team. We, I really gotta get to on it. I really gotta get on that, man. Okay, this is so slow. Yes, it, it's an alarm. It's a statue that makes an alarm go off. There you go. Intruder alert! Where? Oh, right, me. Oh, not these guys. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, do I really have anything that works against this? Don't use a psychic move. Don't use my psychic move. Please don't use a psychic move. Use disable or something. Fuck! Resist. Oh, Crobat's a champ. Make him repent. Good boy. And a critical hit. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that went to the rhythm, and I'm so happy that it did. I wonder where Neko is going to evolve. Oh, we should go to the. Um... What's it called? Uh, to the hair cutter, or the hair groomer, whatever. The hairdresser, yeah, that's it. We gotta, we gotta go make Neko stylish. So that they can be happier and evolve quicker. Back from ad. Sorry I missed anything. No, it's okay, Neko. You didn't miss much. Uh, we were just uh, beating up this guy. Oh, and... Uh, a part of the song went to the rhythm. Okay, so the level up, you leveled up, Neko leveled up, right? And when they leveled up, it, it went to the rhythm of the song and it made me a happy boy. I love when that kind of things happen. It pleases me. <laughs> Good, do it more. <laughs> if you ever wanna make me happy with uh, anything in a video game or um, animations, put it to the rhythm of music, put a segment, anything. Put something to the rim of the music and it will make me happy. It's one of those satisfying things for me to watch. Can you unlurk? Uh, yeah, I mean, lurking, uh, when you lurk, all it does is inform me that you are lurking. It's not like uh, you're like now in the void. No, no, no. Lurking, when you say lurk as a command, all it does is tell me you're here, but you're busy or just listening. So don't worry. It's not like it's a status or anything, don't worry about it. You're not uh, missing out on anything, or you're not, like, hiding. Drink! Ah, goody. Alright, 
Alright, Kolava, I need you to level up as well because I need you to have, uh, you know, the best moveset in the games. I say that, but it's not the best moveset. It's just that it's... Are you kidding me? It's just that, dude, the reason why Kulava is so... Well, I mean, Typhlosion was so good back in the day. It's a fire type. Pure fire type. But it can freaking learn Earthquake, Flamethrower, Thunder Punch. You can cover all of your weaknesses with just this little boy. And oh my god, is it a force of nature. It just destroys everything. <laughs> it was very powerful back in the day, and even today, it's not that bad. But still, it was so powerful in the second generation. Level up. A ratata tata tata. Okay. Mm. Normal type fight. Alex, take that out of your mouth. You're not a child. You're not a child, you're someone with ADHD, which I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I, I Natsia, my co-host, sent me an ad a funny little edit. Uh, you know, um, Up? Uh, the movie, right? That scene where he's with the dog, the giant bird, and, uh, the kid? And he says, uh, he was like, what was it? I'm not, I don't want you near me, I don't want you near me, I'm stuck with you. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> one of them was, uh, one of them was anxiety, the other one was, uh, oh, what was it? Anxiety, depression, and the boy, and the little kid was ADHD, so it's like, the bird is depression, the other one was anxiety. <laughs> so it was funny, it's like, I don't want to. I'm. I don't want to get. Uh, I don't want to take care of you. I don't want you in my life. I'm stuck with you. Pointing at the kid with the ADHD. <laughs> it's something I'm stuck with, I guess. Uh, Green Link. Oh, Green Link. Welcome. How you feeling? Are you doing better? Are you okay? If you're not okay, the fuck are you doing here? Go rest. <laughs> Prioritize health. All right, let's uh, heal Neko because we don't want him to faint. That would be detrimental for them leveling up. They need happiness. And yes, I'm going to fight every single trainer in here because fuck Team Rock. And I like their music. It's a love-hate relationship. I'm looking at my first team from Soul Silver, and dear God, it's stacked. Gengar, Lugia, Golem, Shiny, Gyarados, Jolteon, and Typho- Dude, <laughs> your team is so strong. <laughs> God damn! You're feeling okay, surprisingly. Well, that's good to hear, Greenlight. You haven't missed much. I told a few uh, stories here and there. Neko, use Quick Attack. Get rid of the... Is it a tap here? I think it's a tap here. Yeah. It's not an elephant, it's a tap here. If you don't know what a tap here is, well, um, you know, look it up. <laughs> if you don't want to look it up, well, okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. The automatons have been eradicated. Oh yeah, Helldivers. I was there. <laughs> I was there when it happened. And also, also, um, uh, now we are getting rid of the Terminids. So they, they are currently sending a bunch of missions of uh, conquer this planet, and I'm sure that today we had to conquer three planets before X time period, and I do think we are about to do that. There was only one planet left, and it was halfway conquered already, last time I checked. Now I'm going to do a run with Totodile as my starter, because ADHD is a bitch. <laughs> I see. Well, I, what I always liked in my playthroughs, Akumu, this is how this is how it went down for me. Anytime I played a game of Pokemon, uh, it was always, um, use, I'm only limited to using Pokemon from the generation I'm currently playing. So no Pokemon from the previous generations are allowed, unless the evolution is from, you know, this game. For example, I have an Eevee, but Umbreon is an evolution from the second generation. So I will use them, right? <clears throat> Those are the rules. And also, also, another arbitrary rule I had is I will not repeat a typing in my team. So 
no water type, water flying type. No, only one. If I have a water flying type, I cannot get another water type. It, that's that's just my brain. <laughs> I always put these arbitrary rules for more extra fun, right? Or is it just my OCD? I wonder. For anyone, before anyone says, OCD, what is that? Okay, no, don't worry. Everyone has that. that that's just the, the need to have something organized or, you know, that stuff. <laughs> Chlorophyllink. <laughs> Hello, Chlorophyllink. What? You mean like a uh, chlorophyll? The, the, you know the thing, the, the green stuff that makes you, uh, that makes plants do photosynthesis? Is that, is that the joke? Because green, green link? I am, I are so smart. Ah, Gatorade. Okay, I'm exactly the same. Okay, good to see that I'm not weird. <laughs> cool. Grimer, meet Mudball. Hey. Oh, by the way, today, if you guys haven't checked the schedule, uh, either on Discord, Twitter, or YouTube, um, today, this week, we are playing a new game. It's a short-ish game. We might have a long stream, but, uh, it is a game I am very excited to play. It's one of those uh, indie games that came out, I don't remember how long ago, but it's it's very good. Uh, reduces speed, you know what, we'll get rid of Mudshot. So it's one of those uh, indie games, it's like a pixel art style or drawn style. It reminds me a lot of Bad End Theater, which we're also going to play. <laughs> but, um, um, my brain is already scattered. I forgot what I was going to talk about. Um, oh no, I'm forgetting again. Fuck. Uh, oh no. Oh yeah, the game. Uh, I'm very excited to play that game. We haven't played it on this channel. Uh, I wanted to play it when I saw it, and uh, lo and behold, Jello, one of the street streamer artists, blah blah blah. You know, if you know Jello, you know Jello, and. Um, I was so excited when I saw that they were playing it, but I was like, okay, I should not spoil myself, but I really, really want to watch this video. But I'm going to play the game, and then I'll watch what they uploaded to YouTube. So what you think will replace the automatons? So, there have been theories that there's going to be this new faction called the Illuminated or something like that. Which I don't know what they are, but it's going to be like a, an event or something like that. Like it's going to be like a huge f fuck you to the to the players. It's like you're going to be in the midst of the celebration of haha, we have conquered the automatons, and then suddenly, boom, the illuminated appear or something like that. Or so I've heard. I have no idea if that's true or not, but I wonder if that's the case. In which case, it would be really cool because it would be like lore, you know. I'm so hyperactive. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's that's the H part of ADHD. I may not be running around like a maniac, like those kids that run around when they're hyperactive, but my hyperactiveness is more like active. You know, that's that's how that's just how I am. The Illuminate ain't gonna be new. Oh, there. Okay, then I don't know. I mean, like new as in uh, to this game. I don't mean like uh, new to the old game. I mean like new to this game. Oh yeah, I heard they're like squid thing from the old game. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Husky. Welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Another Rattata. Keep battling. We'll leave this in Heracross's hand. The automatons use their symbol. Oh. Here's the thing, Chad. I've never played uh, Helldivers 1. Yes, yes, boo me all you want. <laughs> it's just one of those games that I really never got the chance to discover when it came out the first time. But uh, now that, you know, technology exists and uh, we can see everything when it comes out, uh, Helldivers 2 was announced and I saw the gameplay and I'm like, how did I not know about this game before? So that's why I'm playing Helldivers 2. 
I'm good, what about you? Well, I'm great, Husky. Here's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this AI boy has ADHD and I am currently on the H part of the ADHD. I am hyperactive. I am I have not slept for 24 hours and my brain is on a rush of dopamine right now. And you would say, wouldn't you be tired normally with ADHD and not sleeping? Yes, but now my brain is like, oh, you need to be awake? Time to be awake, bitch. <laughs> so now my brain is on overdrive and I'm like coked out of my mind. I'm joking. Uh, not cooked, but you know, you know what I mean. So I'm drinking Powerade. <laughs> so I'm just like not sleepy at all. That I I guess that's the that's the part of hard to go to sleep if you don't go to sleep, right? I'm a little indecisive. What evolution should evolution should I pick besides Vaporeon, Jolten, or Umbra? Well, Espeon is really good as a special attacker and speed-wise, so I do recommend uh, uh, Akuma. You use uh, Espeon; they are really good. <clears throat> Either I have, uh, don't know it was a thing before too. Oh, I see. Dog, is a fly bothering you? <laughs> My dog is trying to bite something out of the air. It's probably a mosquito. People with ADHD, have you ever tried just calming down? <laughs> oh yeah, let me try that right now. I I I'll, I'll say when it works, don't worry. I'll, I'll let you know, I'll let you know. <laughs> I shot an apple at a tree. Guess what happened? Um, it split in five, it exploded. It fell out of the tree. You missed. An owl took it. Can I play Super Meat Boy? Well, you see, Extra, that is a good idea. Maybe we should play Meat. I never played it before, but I do know it's one of those hard platforming games. I have seen playthroughs of it. Maybe we should play that soon. So I want to reorganize my schedule because, you know, I was super organized when I started streaming. Now I'm just all over the place. I always used to have like a one online game, uh, long games, and a short game, at least in the same week. But now um, I'm just playing whatever I feel like, right? <laughs> but I want to reorganize that a little bit. Aw, a little Sky Raisin from Doggo. <laughs> Can you play? Oh no, I already read that. The apple vaporize. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, not that way. Ah! Oh, hiccups. Oh, hiccups. Excuse me. No. Okay. Fine. I guess we'll fight. Ugh, I hate mosquitoes, man. They bother both me and my dog. Yesterday, he was biting at the air, and uh, I saw something flying around, and I killed it in a second. I don't know how, but I now have, like, I've grown to the point where I kill mosquitoes without even trying. One can call it the Ultra Instinct. You know, like, in those video games when you kill so many rats when you're level one in the tutorial area, you get a badge for being the Rat King or the kill the rat killer. I should have the mosquito badge at this point. And if at some point I do not level up in my life, I will be very disappointed because I have killed so many mosquitoes, man. I've killed them during sleep. One morning I woke up and I saw a rig, a big like splat on the wall full of blood. And it was a mosquito that bit me and I killed it while I was sleeping and I didn't even know. <laughs> but I woke up to that thing next to my face. And I'm like, oh, so I was violent with tonight. That's good to see. <laughs> Come on, Neko, we need you to evolve. How close is he? Or she? I don't know what... I don't know what... Is our Eevee male or female? I never checked. Oh, it's male. Okay, okay, it's male. Okay, Mud Bomb. The AI boy is evolving. <laughs> Green Link leveled up. Green Link now has the Ranger class. You sure, bro? Mosquitoes only give like... Dude! I've killed so many that this, it's like grinding in the for, in the tutorial level and then you go to the final boss and you're already max level by just killing mosquitoes, right? <laughs> it's like uh, that, that one skit from um, this voice actor guy, Sung Wong. <laughs> he's, he's like, he has this skit like a fantasy game where he goes, um, 
finding all the pine cones before finding fighting the final boss. And he just arrives at the boss lair and he's like, So you finally arrived! And the guy just slaps him and the boss dies instantly. He's like, I, uh, I found all the pine cones. <laughs> and the game cuts to credits. <laughs> That's basically the equivalent. Farming on mosquitoes eight AXP. Why are my conversations so weird sometimes? I, I just go from tangent to tangent. And I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> ah. It's called self-love. Not an ego. It's self-love. Uh, that's my coping mechanism to convince myself that that is self-love and I should do that. It is very important to love oneself because when you are alone, not another neither it might sound bad but i'm not saying it in a bad way neither your couples like the girlfriend or boyfriend spouses neither your family neither your pets when you're alone the person who will always love you is yourself you should always do that because if you don't love yourself you cannot love anyone else so that is also an important message to Eevee, uh, Neko, please, I need you to evolve, man. I need a dark type soon. I can't deal with these freaking psychic types. Self-love is very important. You are with yourself for life. That is indeed true. That is, that is it, Domino. That is how it works. That's not gonna be enough. Aw, oh, Dang it, it started with the thing, it's doing hypnosis. Are you okay, boy? Is the mosquito bothering you? Okay, I have to pay attention to my dog because he wants to jump on my bed, and I can't let him jump on my bed because, you know, he, he has a ligament, he has a broken ligament, so I can't let him jump. If he wants to get on my bed, I have to carry him onto my bed. <laughs> I just can't let him hurt his leg any more than it already is. I have to wait until he gets operated, or else it's gonna get worse, you know? Who's a cool mosquito hunter? <laughs> oh, no, no, no! That's the wrong move. I'm sure that's enough to kill it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's enough. Noise. Zubat. Um, uh, I'm sure Quilava can take it. A flame wheel or two should be enough. Right. Oh, I'm so excited to get work to get to work on that commission. Of course, today I'm going to take a, a well-deserved rest, and I will start on the commission tomorrow. Mainly because uh, I don't know if my brain is going to be, you know, in fighting fit to fight against uh, <laughs> the sleep paralysis demons and uh, the work. <laughs> so today I will take the rest of the night off. Maybe play some Helldivers, maybe go to sleep. Probably should go to sleep. <laughs> my great aunt used to have a dog that was very fat and had to be carried almost everywhere. But was the happiest little dog you ever saw. <laughs> that is adorable. I mean, my dog is not overweight. It's just that, um, you know, <clears throat> it, 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 I already said what ha what's wrong with him. He has a broken ligament. It, it, specifically, the one that is holding your knee and your femur together, right? That one. <laughs> In Spanish, it's called the ligamento cruzado. What is that called? Uh, uh, come on, Zillash, remember biology. You, you graduated from frickin'... Oh, what was it? Remember biology! I can remember this. Hold on. Come on. Cruciate ligament. Okay, it's called the cruciate. I was trying to translate it, but my brain was not braining. We also play Geometry Dash. Uh, uh, I don't know. 
We, I do want to play a rhythm game. I mean, we did play Crypt of the Neko. Did you know that Crypt of the Neko Dancer, Neko, Neko, da Necro Dancer, uh, got an update, a DLC, right? Uh, so uh, <laughs> they have they have added Hatsune Miku as a character, and I'm going to play that soon. We also oh uh, oh Virtual Husky BRB. Okay, I'll be here. <laughs> Neko Dancer. <laughs> so what was the idea on hosting the free server? Oh, so Greenland. Uh, I found out that uh, you have to pay for a server, and uh, it not they're not that expensive. It's just that you know, I don't have money right now for that. I have other expenses to take care of. So there is uh, one option, but it requires a lot of um, working, like uh, not programming, but something very akin to that. And uh, it will take some time of trial and error while I investigate. I found a tutorial on how to set it up and everything. So, yes. I will have a free server soon for Minecraft for anyone to join. It is the PC version, Java version. And it's going to be for the Zillax Music Live community. And friends, of course. Any streamer friends or friends that I have that want to join may join as well. So, as soon as I, I have enough time, probably after I'm done with the commissions and uh, the masters, I'm, which I'm almost pretty much done, where I, I think it's like one more month before vacation? Question mark? Uh, but whatever. As soon as I get more time, I will set up the server, I will prepare everything, I will implement the seed that Greenlink has, which is all the things that he has created for us to enjoy. And then we can play Minecraft on the server together. I, I did find another tutorial that tells me how to set it up so that I don't have to be online and you guys can just join in, right? I have played Minecraft once and I must try it again. I will gladly join you. Oh yes, Neko, it is a very fun game. And relaxing. No, it, It's a game that you don't need to stress. A lot of people... Well, a lot of people. People stress if they have like a very important objective, like a speed run or something like that, or the not dying thing, like that that challenge run. But uh, it, it, if you play it in a chill way, it is a chill game, right? So no need for stress. And I know I was talking about something before, and I jumped on a tangent to something else. So I do not remember what I was talking about. I am so sorry. <laughs> I already forgot. Oh yeah, I think I was talking about Crypt of the Necro Dancer. That I accidentally said Necro Dancer. Maybe we should play an up the update that they did. I want to try out what Miku looks like. I want to see what her powers and moveset are in the game. Give up on charge? Yes, I do not want charge. Not the seed. That gives you a world without the additions. Just paste. Oh, okay, okay. The file. Sorry, the file. The world. The whole thing. Gotcha. So it's not the seed. It's the whole thing. The whole thing that you build. Okay, gotcha. I know what you meant, I just expressed it incorrectly. I just called it a seed because I thought it was the same thing for some reason. But no, a seed is not the same thing. A seed is like um, the world, but with nothing built in it. Only the things that are like, uh, you know, the temple, the, the the thing that spawn in, right? But what Greenlink is giving me is basically a copy of his world. The one where he's building stuff. Go Heracross. How does one relax and slow down the pace of their brain? I, that is one of my biggest worries when I'm streaming. And at the same time, it's not. <laughs> I'm weird like that. So I worry, but at the same time, I, it's not like I don't care and like, oh, screw them. They, they'll, they'll, they'll figure it out. No, no, no. It's more of a I worry of uh, it's, it's an irrational fear or worry that uh, I get annoying, right? But at the same time, I'm like, well, I, I think that's just my, uh, my uh, brain fixing itself because I have adapted in a way to not be, uh, you know, to control my ADHD and intrusive thoughts. So my brain is capable of just saying, nah, it's fine. If they're here, it's because they want to. So I just auto-heal my own worries. Sometimes it, I can't do that, but most of the time I'm good. 
And that's where people say, hey, you don't have ADHD because you don't have blah 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 anxiety. And I was like, no, no, I very do much have that. It's just that I can I, adapt and auto heal those mental wounds that I auto inflict on myself. Gatorade! Ah. Oh. I should not be drinking this in, late at night. <laughs> Ooh, someone's paralyzed. <laughs> nice shot. Here, have another. May I have some more, sir? So yeah, uh, remembering of what happened last time, you guys remember when I did the Helldiver stream and it was a little bit, uh, shit? <laughs> uh, I, I do think I know where I'm going to spend my first paycheck. I'm going to, uh, gather a little fund, every, every coin that I get, every, you know. The first thing I'm going to, you know, save money for is going to be upgrading the motherboard of my PC and the graphics card and the RAM. Yeah, I have to do all three, because if I don't upgrade the motherboard, then I can't change the RAM nor the the CPU thing. You know, you know what I mean. So yeah, I have to start with the motherboard, then move up to the other things. So that way we can stream powerful games. Powerful? I don't know. You know what I mean? Because I did dumb down everything. I turned down the. I turned down the graphics, everything, the shadows, the generating. I did everything in my power to make it so I can stream Helldivers, and still, it didn't work. For me, the game works perfectly, like, it's zero lag. The problem is, on stream, it looks laggy, and that is a problem. Right? Because it, it, what's the point of streaming it if it's gonna be laggy on stream? Because I can play it, yeah, that's no issue, but still, on stream it looks like shit. So that's why we have hold off on playing Helldivers until I can upgrade my PC, unfortunately. So you guys will not see the progression. It's more gonna be like, um, <laughs> you guys saw me like probably like at level one. Now you guys are gonna see me like at level 30 already. <laughs> I'm about to reach level 30 and uh, I'm still going up. Oh, you know another thing that's pretty cool about, uh, you know how there, there's this, uh, is it, was it called Paresthesia? Was it Paresthesia? Okay, hold on. And let me look it up. I don't like to talk with error in my mouth. Paresthesia, Paresthesia. There we go. No, that's not the one. That's not what I want. No, Paresthesia. No, it's not the thing. Uh, what was it? What was it? The one thing I'm thinking of. I know the name of it. It's called, um... Synesthesia. There we go. Synesthesia. So, Synesthesia. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> the freaking... Uh, just in time. So, let's talk about Synesthesia. What is Synesthesia? That is a thing, um... Get back from the ads jail. Yeah. I, lucky. <laughs> I was about to talk about a thing. I was about to go on another tangent. So, let's talk about Synesthesia. What is synesthesia? That uh, I saw the most racist and offensive thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I hope I hope it wasn't that bad extra. What happened? Oh, I don't have the command for the Discord. That that is a little bit yikes. Sorry about that, Akumu. <laughs> uh, but I will uh, if you want. I can share the link real quick. Uh, I just kind of you yeah, know forgot to do that. <laughs> I should really change that, huh? Let's see, uh, how do I do this again? Uh, edit the invite, uh, max of use is zero, never that, generate a link, copy that link, and there you go, that is the Discord server I have. You do enjoy my little rants? Oh, that, that is, <laughs> we call this segment, uh, Zillax useless, but fun, um, not rants, what was it? I always called it something. I, I forget my own things, man, that is so stupid. Um, not rants, not tips, 
have it in the tip of my tongue. Random facts, there we go. Zillax random and fun facts. Let's talk about synesthesia. <laughs> so synesthesia, that is a thing when people have two senses or more connected to each other. For example, there are people who can see sound. When they listen to something, they can see images in their brains, right? Uh, for example, he here's a really, a really fun one. Uh, have you uh, seen Ratatouille? If you have, well, Ratatouille can be qualified as something of having synesthesia. He has taste and imagination connected. Yes, imagination is one of those senses. It's hilarious how that's a sense, but it is. So how it works is that when he eats something, he can see stuff. And no, he is not hallucinating. That is something that actually happens to people. So, for example, for me, synesthesia happens with music. I can imagine all sorts of stuff. I can create images stories and the best the best way that i create um fighting um what's it called not synchronization oh my God. you know when you create a uh, fighting um scenes that i i'm really good at creating those uh oh my God, what is it called fighting scenes whatever you know the the whole thing how people fight the animation and sometimes i wish i were animating those scenes now because they would be so cool. Luckily, I never forget. <laughs> uh, what happened to Extra? I don't know. Yo, Zillex, send something in the memes channel. I will look at it in a second. Kind of long story? Okay. I think I might have that. Oh. Yeah, it, it's very common to have senses connected. For people, sometimes it's like hearing and sight, or sight and taste, blah blah blah, right? And apparently imagination is another one. I did not know imagination was one of the senses, but apparently it is! Uh, apparently, you know the typical things that they tell you like sight, hearing, taste, and touch? You know, you know the five senses? Uh, apparently there's more than just five. Uh, one of the many many lies they tell you in school. I've also heard of musical note having certain colors in listeners. Yes, that's that's one of the synesthesia things. That would be so cool. I think I have a form of that. Music often inspired me to create. Yes, that, that's so cool, right? So most of the time, I listen to music when I need to create stories and stuff. Um, but unfortunately, I can't do that when I have to compose music because you know, <laughs> I need I need. Uh, quiet to be able to compose music. Of course, you can use music to inspire yourself, but still, normally, I need quiet to be able to compose a song, right? I can't be listening to another song, I'll just go on a tangent and think of something else. You know the feeling? You just gotta pick some epic music and wham, epic animation at the ready. If I could animate... Dude, I have so many animations in my brain ready to go as soon as it's summer. So, as soon as it's summer, do expect a lot of animation streams. So it's going to be us practicing in stream. And you guys can follow along because we're going to start from zero. Because I have to remind myself how to animate and model in Blender. I do know how, but I need to go through a crash course to remind myself how everything works. Because it's been a long time since I've used that program. So, if you guys want to join in and learn how to do that with me, we can do it together. And maybe, who knows, you guys can learn to animate and in the future be animators or 3D modelers. Who knows? Maybe I'll awaken something in you, and it's not the bad kind of thing. <laughs> oh, why am I like this? Are you done? Okay, there's one more. Gotcha. I need a quick heal, so I might have to go and heal my Pokemon. It's funny how we're talking of everything except Pokemon right now. <laughs> Today I just feel chatty, okay? I need social interacting. I've only been one whole day locked up in this room, and I am already craving activity. Social activity! <laughs> I swear I'm not desperate. I swear I can live alone. But sometimes, you know. Sometimes I crave talking. Other times, I can be a caveman, a hermit caveman. Yes, both. That needs to be locked up and wants to see no one. Oh, hey, Akumu joined the Discord. Thank you for joining, Akumu. 
I'm gonna try and get to where you are by the time you're in the next stream. Oh, okay, cool. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna do a playthrough together then. Oh my god. That, that, <laughs> that, the game spazzing out is whenever I click off of the game to look at the Discord and stuff. Okay, I'll look at the, I can't see it right now, but I'll definitely look at it after stream because if I do that, my, my, uh, definitely normal 3DS will explode. Yeah. Oh, hey, Heracross leveled up. Pokemon has a way of bringing up conversation. That is true. It's one of those games you can just turn off your brain and talk while you're playing. Especially if you've already played the game, because all of this is just muscle memory. But just watch, I'm not going to be able to remember when it's a cave that I need to know the puzzle of. What's up, dog? What's up? Oh, he's just changing his... His bed. He likes to change wherever he's lying down. He has like two beds, right? Two dog beds. But he likes to go to the floor like after he likes to go to my bed. So he just has beds all over the place. Just gotta pick up some Oh, I already read that. Kinda lurking a bit. Okay, extra. Do what you must. Ratata tata tata. So yeah, I think we're gonna go heal after this battle. Let's go heal and let's go to the hairdresser so that we can make Neko a happy boy. And hopefully they can evolve on the next level up. Because we need an Umbreon ASAP. I'm getting tired of dealing with these psychic types. If we have Umbreon, everything will be much easier. We good? Cool, okay, now we can go. Bros DS when he clicks off game. Windows XP sound error. <laughs> Blue screen! Oh, you know what we haven't done in a while? Fucking save. Thank you for reminding me, Green Link. But here, it's not the blue screen of death. Here is the black screen of death. So let's do a quick save, just in case. I know I say I save every time I go to the Pokemon Center, but just in case we'll save right now. Just in case the game wants to be a funny guy and glitch out the moment I leave the building. Okay, we're good, cool. I don't know why, but it's always this game, particularly this game, that just wants to glitch out. Because last time we were using this same DS to play uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, and none of this happened. That glitch only happens with this game. And it is so heartbreaking and funny at the same time. Okay, so let's go get a haircut for Neko, or uh, not a haircut, but you know, um, stylized. Zubat, well sorry, Crobat, do the thing. So, we should start thinking about names for these guys. What do we name these people? I want, uh, of course, the names have to be, you know, they should be appropriate to their personalities. And that would make you think, um, what are their personalities? I don't remember anymore, man. I haven't been doing a lot of uh, Pokemon stuff in game, and I'm sorry about that. I know in Pokemon Red, we gave them a lot of personality and every single one of them, um, you know, uh, you, you can just, uh, I, I, what was I doing? I, brain, focus on one thing. Either you read or you talk. Okay, so. <laughs> and error, 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 error 404. I have forgotten what I was talking about. I wish that you could dress your Pokemon. Oh, you can do that in a different game. I think it was in, um, what was it? It was, uh, I, I think you can do it here as well. But I don't think it's like a permanent thing. I'm trying to think of Studio Ghibli names. I, oh yeah, yeah, we're talking about Pokemon personalities. In the first playthrough, we did a Fire Red and Leaf Green. Each of them had like a personality depending on how they acted. Like if they missed an attack and if it was a funny thing to do. Like Machop was a fighting type, but he hated fighting. We had um, our Geodude was the honorable fighter. He was like, I need a worthy opponent because he always used, um, we had a, an RNG attack, right? 
and he would always get low rolls on weak Pokemon, as if he was not going to use his maximum strength against them. But when he was fighting a disadvantaged Pokemon against him, like something that had a, he was a disadvantage against, or either stronger than him, he would always get the max roll. So he was like the honorable one. So that's, that's how we gave them personalities. But this time, I, nothing really, you know, different or anything important has happened with them. Uh, at least Neko, for now, he he's he's the hero of the team because he has been clutching battle after battle since last stream, and it has been amazing. So Neko, our our Neko boy, we can just imagine him have, as Neko Tomaton, but with like like in an Eevee form, and he's like the hero of the team. <laughs> he's like the superhero of the team. The edgy superhero <laughs> because Umbreon dark type so at least Eevee we know how they are because they already have the name Neko in it <clears throat> trying to think of Studio Ghibli names oh like right now I don't really know any okay so we can go off of their personalities right we already know that Quilava is relaxed we know that Flaffy has a, is bold but they doze off Quagsire is naive, but dozes off as well. We have two that are narcoleptic. That is great. We have... Oh, Heracross. Oh, okay. I, I think I got a... I think I got a, a personality for <laughs> for Heracross. He, they, they're going to be this very cranky character. He, he's quick-tempered. And you know the horn? He just uses his horn to th throw people away, right? Like a catapult. <laughs> He's, that but that we gotta think of a name for that. He's just anyone, a person, a Pokemon, anything, creature. He will just throw them away as soon as he's angry. <laughs> well, she is angry. That's what their personality is going to be like. Quagsire is the type of guy that's like. <laughs> Imagine him's going to get stole. He's gonna get mugged by anyone. He's like, oh, you want money? Here you go. He just gives them willingly because he's so naive. Uh, Flaffy is a bold nature. Not going to go into that. Crobat is a jolly one and loves to scatter things. Oh, okay, I got a dynamic. I think I got a very good dynamic. We got Quagsire, the naive one, and we got Crobat that likes to scatter stuff. So I think he's jolly and that means he's like mischievous. So that means he would constantly play pranks on everyone on the team. But uh, when it comes to Quagsire, he would try to annoy him. But Quagsire was always like, oh, hello, buddy. And he was like always super happy to see anyone, right? <laughs> So it would always be Crobat trying to annoy Quagsire, but Quagsire is just so happy and naive. <laughs> I think that's the personality we're going to give Quagsire. Okay, we got three out of the way. Four, counting Neko. We gotta think of the other two. Yes, we want a haircut, please. Am I being too loud? <laughs> Uh, Neko, please. We want him to be an Umbreon as soon as possible. I don't know why it's taking so long. We we have literally clutched... We have had him battle in gyms. Important battles. He has been walking. He has the Soothe Bell. And we have, great, we have brought him to every single hairdresser every time we could. So they shouldn't be too far from evolving, right? Neko is poking at- No! Stop it! Bad Neko. <laughs> no poking at garbage. <laughs> uh, ne Neko is now- Neko is a cat, but Neko is acting like a dog. So, basically a fox. <laughs> foxes are just- uh, Foxes are just cat dogs. Heracross for real, an Angie boy, indeed. You mean Batman? Uh, I, I didn't mean like Batman, it's more like um. I was just thinking of an edgy person, right? <laughs> I don't know. A superhero, that's edgy, but I wasn't specifically thinking of Batman. But yeah, that works. Best of both worlds, indeed. We're going here, right? Yes, we are. Hello, goodbye. But, but, garbage! No, no garbage. Stop it. Last time you, you were eating garbage, you got an upset stomach. He's like, oh, <laughs> oh, and it's adorable. Eevee, it's like, 
<laughs> Evie has the personality like he always watches uh superhero movies, but like Batman and stuff. So he's a big fan of Batman. So he's always like dressing up in black. He's like, I'm an, I am Justice, and he's just a little small Evie boy. <laughs> <laughs> and when he evolves into Umbreon, he finally re realizes his dream. Oh, I didn't read that. Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Ah, oh, I should have known he would heal me. Here, I'll give them my medicine. Excuse me? Is that addictive medicine? I think... I think my little boy is allergic. Alright, I guess we're separating then. Pokes that garbage to a noisy legs. No! All right, Quilava is very low level. We should, we should be evolving. We we should be upgrading, leveling up Quilava as well. He is one of our strongest members, and I'm not leveling him up. Funny how that works, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, what a cute Eevee. For justice, for Gotham. <laughs> the guy's like, what the? F <laughs> New sound effect idea. Hello, Womp Womp. And giant enemy spider. These are all from the internet. Okay, I'll look them up and see. The main thing I will look into the ideas, but the the problem is I have to like them. <laughs> because I'm, if I'm going to be listening to sound effects, I have to enjoy them. Like for instance, the fail sound effect I have on Twitch and on YouTube, it already annoys me so much. So I want to change it to a different one. And it's not because of the spam, I, I encourage the spam when it is okay. But the thing is, it's just that I got bored of it. My ADHD got bored of that one sound effect. So I want to change the fail sound effect to a different one. Yo, this dog goofy as hell! <laughs> what the dog doing? <laughs> you know the, the, the typical question, what does the fox say? Well, the fox, the fox actually does a very terrifying noise if you're at night, and a very cute noise if it's daytime. If it's at daytime, it will just do a typical, like, eh, like, you know, <laughs> like little screeching noise, it's so, like, high-pitched screech. But if it is at nighttime, and you don't know that if it's a fox or not, you will definitely desire not to be wherever you are. They do, like, these loud screech and screams. They sound neither like a dog nor a cat. But they act both cat and dogs. <laughs> the fox says, For justice! <laughs> Eat flame wheel! Come on, I want to evolve someone on this team. We've gone for two streams without evolving someone. And we still have three more to go. I love the little laughs they do when foxes are being- Yes! They're little... <laughs> uh, cackles. They're so amazing. That's why they're one of my favorite animals. One of... Zillux, you can only have one- No. I have many. It literally sounds like a woman being strangled and screaming for help. It's horrifying. Yes! That's why I mean it's like... It's either very cute if it's in daytime, or very scary if it's nighttime. <laughs> or it's also scary if it's nighttime and you're alone in the forest. So yeah, it's all depending on context, right? Hey, Quilava, snapping out of confusion. What a champ. That should be enough, right? Oh, let's go. Skinwalker and yeah, <laughs> they are so scary sometimes. Oh, you know what's nightmare fuel? Have you ever seen that um, video of a fox with rabies? That is nightmare fuel. Yikes. Well, I mean, any animal with with rabies is scary, but there's this one video of a person that um that is recording a fox trying to uh. I don't know, bite their way through the glass door. And you can see them like sticking out their tongue and trying to like bite the glass. And of course they can't, right? But uh, it is so scary. Their sight is like almost gone. It's like completely white and they're just trying to get at you. It is so creepy. 
I mean, I've seen many, uh, oh, fair warning for anyone who does not like these kinds of conversations. I do have them on my stream, so for anyone who is faint of heart, uh, turn down the volume or tune in in a few moments or maybe next time. <laughs> because we're going on a zombie tangent this time, my brain decided that's what we're going to talk about now. So there's these uh, few sicknesses for animals, uh, not just rabies. Specifically the, you know, for anyone who's in Canada or the north side of the USA, you might know this. Uh, there's this one parasite that is specific to moose or the family of moose or deer. It, it, it completely takes over the brain and it turns them into pretty much zombies. And it's very scary, man. You, you can just see them either rotting away and walking. It's like a walking corpse or walking in circles, and they do just the most weird things. It's really unsettling. Of course it's not contagious to humans, yet. I say yet because you know those things can evolve, right? <laughs> it's just that it's so creepy. It's, it's a brain parasite. It, it kind of acts like the, like, it kind of like, um, what's it called? The, the side effects are like rabies, but they don't try to uh, bite or lick you, right? The difference is in... When, when you're talking about uh, rabies, rabies generally just makes the animal act in a different way. Normally foxes don't want to get close to you, but when they have rabies, oh, they want to get very close. They want to bite you because they want to transmit that infection. But this other one is just... It just makes the, the, the moose go nuts, man. It looks like a zombie walks around doing weird stuff. And they have the blankest of stares. They look into the abyss and it's so scary. Anyway, tangent over. <laughs> Let's continue with Pokemon, right? The world where nothing, where parasites don't exist. Have you heard of Parasect? That is a mushroom that takes over the brain of a Pokemon. Have you played The Dance of Fire and Ice? Have I played it? Hmm. Hold on. Let me check that. Maybe I have, but I don't remember. Let me see. Oh no, I have not played it. But I have seen it. I didn't know that was the name of the game. Yeah, Parasect is, bas is basically uh, Cordyceps. And no, I'm not talking The Last of Us. There's actually a mushroom in real life called the Cordyceps. But this mushroom does not take over human brains. It takes over ants' brains. What it does, it's, um... The spores land on an ant's brain. And then the ant will... No, not the brain. The head. And that will implement itself into the ant. And it will take control at some point. And at some point, whenever the the fungi or mushroom has grown enough, matured, if you will, it will take control over the ant's body, and it will take it to a very high place, and it will take it to a very high and humid place. It will make the ant bite on to deer life onto a branch or whatever, and it will then rot away. And as soon as it rots away and the mushroom grows, it will continue the cycle all over again. Grows spit spores and it will just you know get on another ants or insects head and continue the cycle why do i know so many facts about animals because i don't know man adhd makes me learn weird stuff it does what it wants to i can go on a tangent about so many parasitic animals because why not <laughs> Ugh. i had a i had a biology phase a phase where I just learned anything biology or science. Uh, that thing has levitate, right? Yes, it does. Let's go here. Wait. Oh, this is... Okay, I was about to say, wait, why isn't Team Rocket's theme going? It's because we're fighting uh, one of those uh, science guys. Oh, you fool. Don't touch the Flaffy. You will be paralyzed. Flaffy is one of those Pokemon you really want to cuddle, but the moment you cuddle it, you get zapped. The wool is holding on to a lot of static electricity, so you'll just be zapped. Or paralyzed. Either of which. 
Hey, you want to know more about Z <laughs> You want to know more Zillax fun facts, but this time it's not gonna be of anything fun. It's it's more about me You want to know more funny things? You guys already know that I have a good healing ability. I'm I'm good to recover from injuries, sicknesses, or defenses in general. You want to know another funny thing that happens? Oh, that's a ditto. Hold on. Can I do this? Nope. Okay. So here's another thing that Zillax has a problem with. Anytime I go to a shopping center or a mall, if you will, um, your boy here gets charged. Uh, and the moment I enter a mall, I start getting static electricity charged. So anyone who is within a radius of me will get zapped, and I'm so sorry. Why? I don't know, man. I'm very conductive for a reason. But yes, your boy conducts electricity very well, apparently. And just walking in a mall, for some reason, just charges me up. So I have to be constantly careful while walking as to people because I, I, I like touch them and zap. <laughs> the best way to fix that, touch anything metallic, it'll get rid of all the static electricity you have accumulated. Because everyone can do that, it's just that for me, it, it just gets very extreme for some reason when I go to a mall. Everyone has static electricity that accumulates over time, right? But for some reason, when I enter a shopping mall, it just goes extreme. I think we had enough facts since the start of the stream. Ho <laughs> ho you, Are you challenging me? I can go for more. Is that a challenge? <laughs> uh, who do I want to level up at this point? Maybe Neko. We did talk about leveling up Neko, right? Oh, oh, stop it. No, actually that's a good idea. Let's save. Please save. Today has been such a talkative stream, hasn't it? I'm glad that's a thing I can do and I don't like freeze up. One of my biggest fears before I started streaming was um, not being able to maintain a conversation or having long periods of silence. <clears throat> Which having silence is okay because sometimes you need to focus, right? And it makes for good memes when I'm editing, when I'm, whenever I'm like super focusing on a moment. Uh, but for instance, uh, I like to have a rule of try to not be too silent, silenced or silent, sorry, because uh, you're you're trying to entertain people and you're not alone in the room. You're supposed to talk. That, that's just something I have for myself. It's fine if people like to have like those silent streams. It's just a rule for myself. Right? Oh no! No! Oh, that makes our friendliness go down. So yeah, I I, I was very scared of like um, not being able to maintain a very long conversation. But hey, apparently, I can do that. Sometimes I just can't shut up. So for better or for worse, it's an ability now. <laughs> I was about to say, when is Quagsire going to evolve? Never. He's already fully evolved. You idiot. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I still go silent a lot working on that. Now, no, Neko, it's fine. Everyone can go silent every once in a while, especially if, if it's if it's a, a, a thing they have to work on, or if it's just uh, how they are, right? It's I'm not saying that it's a rule for everyone. No, no, no. It's just a rule I like to impose on myself because I tend to be silent. I'm a very silent type. I don't really um, talk to people. You, whatever you guys see here on stream is very, very contrary to what I act normally. Unless, unless you get me to talk. <laughs> but normally I just keep to myself. I'm very chill. So whatever you guys see here, the gremlin energy, the anything you see... Uh, uh, normally, I'm not like that in IRL. I'm mostly chill. I, I tend to keep to myself. But for some reason, I'm more social online. Maybe it's because I I've grown to be like this. 
And no, it's not a mask. I'm not pretending. It's not an unhealthy thing that I'm doing. No, this is also me. <laughs> it's just that I think. Okay, okay. I think I got an explanation for that. Um, I tend to be this way when I'm with friends, right? It's like when I keep my guard down and I can just chill. So in a sense, maybe psychologically, uh, I consider everyone here my friends. So uh, it just breaks my guard and I just tend to relax and chat a storm or laugh or be loud in general. Because normally I'm not loud. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a thing of considering other friends. For better or for worse, because um, that means uh, I, I am a little bit naive and I tend to quickly warm up to people and I should be more, you know, safe because internet could be a dangerous place if you're not careful. And uh, of course, not everyone wants to be friends and you got to respect that, right? Uh, I, oh, I saw this one tangent on Twitter talking about that. People are like, not everyone who collabs wants to be friends, so stop asking me to be friends. And I was like, oh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> For me, it's just like, uh, of course, it's not like a, you're my friend now. No, 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 no. It's more like a, I have the, if we're collabing, I have the potential to ask to be friends. Because if, if we're, of course, if we uh, connect, it's an instant friend thing. But of course, if we don't connect, it's not like I'm going to be annoying, like, uh, try to be your friend no matter what. But I'm always friendly. I always tend to be friendly and uh, be nice to everyone. So I, it's not like I'm I'm giving you a chance. No, it's more like um, uh, how can I explain this? Mm, it's more like that. I like to be friendly with everyone, so I always give the opportunity to, to be friends. But not everyone wants to be friends. So yeah, you gotta respect that as well. Maybe they're just here for like you know, um, work purposes. Let's collab. Let's do a thing. You know. I just want to collab with people who I want to be friends with. That is also another thing. Uh, it, it is okay and respectable to just collab with people. I, I, I don't know what's... Hmm. I think it's very recommendable. Uh, I, I've also seen a lot of this. Uh, like, only, like, um, stream with people who are friends or with people you connect with, right? Sorry, I got hiccups. Ugh. Okay, so, because I've seen people have bad experiences, like, Oh, we, we, we decided to do a collab, but we don't connect, so it was a little bit awkward on stream, right? So, I can understand that too, and I understand both, um, both perspectives in that way. Sometimes I just wing it, or sometimes I like to watch people, and I, I see that, well, I see, I assume, <laughs> in my own Lala land, Lala happy land, I assume, oh, I can connect with that person. But maybe not, so that's why I get to know them and talk to them. Because it could be a potential friend or future collab, right? So I tend to like first be friends and then ask for a collab. Because I don't want to ask for collabs right on the spot. Because I don't want to look like this person like clout ch chasing, chasing and stuff like that, right? Because of course I'm not a big channel or anything like with a huge following. But I do like to know new people and get to know them and play together because what I mostly enjoy in life when I was playing video games, because that's my life, um, was playing with people. So I want to I wanna do that with people who have mutual interests. In in mutual interests. There we go. And of course, you know, if we're VTubers, we have mutual interests and we're playing video games, we should play together. That's my brain, <laughs> right? So that's why uh, I tend to go around, meet people, go into their streams, say hello, and stuff like that. That's how I met most of the am more amazing people. Besides uh, Twitter, right? That's how I meet them. Then I go to their streams, I go say hello, and stuff like that. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. My dog tried to jump on the bed. That, that's what I'm talking about. He tried to jump on the bed and uh, he can hurt himself. So I, I have to help him up. I know they have the right to handle their business how they want, but damn, I could never do a collab with someone who literally only wants to do business. Seems a bit manipulative. Yeah, I understand that. 
Yeah, I agree. That's why I got so excited when the idea of Soul Link with you, because I feel like we're similar, but I didn't want to feel like I'm Cloud Chaser. No, no, no. I mean, like, for me, I'm always down. I, that's another problem we, we have as VTubers, and I, I think it's like m most of us share the same problem. And we are scared to talk to other people because it's like, oh, they have more followers. Oh, oh I don't want to be annoying. Right? And I, I also have this problem. I, I also sin of having that. And I, I fight it with all my strength to... No, just talk to them. It's a potential friend. You're not cloud chasing. If they call you a cloud chaser, then okay, I guess you can think whatever you want. But no. Uh, <laughs> I understand. I understand that feeling. But do not do not worry, I will, for anyone who is listening to this, any, not just people here today, but in the future, for anyone who watches this video that will be on YouTube, um, definitely ask for a collab. If I am free and I, uh, we can organize each, uh, each other's schedules, we can like uh, make a room for it, or I will always prioritize a collab, in a sense. Uh, of course, if I don't have work and stuff like that. But we, we can always work out a schedule and do a collab. I'm always up for it. I will never think that it is cloud chasing because I always think uh, the better of everyone. I always think people want to have fun. I don't think anyone is... I want to see the positive side of things, right? We already have enough negative things happening around the world. Why do I have to think of the bad stuff? I know people like to think of... There's this mentality of... Think in a wrong or bad way, and you will know the intentions of people. And no, that's... I mean, why? Do I really need to know their intentions? I'm sure they'll tell me at some point. That if they never wanted to open up to me of their intentions, then I guess it just wasn't meant to be, or I wasn't a good enough friend in a sense, right? Not like a, oh, I wasn't good enough. No, I wasn't their type of friend to have. So I always think that with some people you can connect, with others you can't. It is a little bit sad, but it's normal. You can't befriend everyone. You're not on a <laughs> you're not on a quest to catch them all, right? <laughs> Your laptop crashed. Oh no, extra! Please, no, <laughs> not again. <laughs> what happened? How did it happen? Here I am going on a tangent again on <laughs> talking with everyone. Uh, I'm not even doing voice acting. Dude, this whole stream has been uh, ignore what is happening in the game and just talk with everyone. And I'm okay with that. Sometimes you gotta do that. Right? So yeah, long story short, if you guys ever want to collab or want to play something, just ask me. I will not turn you down for the reasons of clout chasing or uh, ignoring you because you are you have less following. Dude, I'm a very small streamer as well, so just think of it that way. Having 20 more, 30 more, 100 more, that's not going to change anything. <laughs> and even if I did, imagine if I have a million. If you ask me, I will consider it as, as in like, yeah, definitely. Of course I will do a little bit of investigating because... I do have to be careful in a sense that just imagine you go and you stream with someone who is going to do bad things on your stream like harass your community and stuff like that and no you shouldn't do that because first and foremost comes my community that I must protect because they are here and they are supposed to be they what my what I believe in my community is they are here and they are putting their trust in me that they will be comfortable here and they will not be harassed or bullied or anything like that, right? The only kind of bullying I can have permitted here is towards me in a fun way with my chat, but never something that will be harmful in any way. So if any, at any time the person I am collabing with does something against my community or friends, oh, they are getting off of the collab. I'll just instantly end the collab, right? Because... I don't, what I hate the most is conflict. I, I'm not, I hate conflict. I, I always evade it as much as possible because I don't like it. <laughs> but I know conflict is necessary, but always, if I, if I can evade it, I will. I always appreciate your safe place, Yuzi. Aw, oh, thank you, Dominic. I, I, I want to keep it as safe as possible because it, it's just a place where people can relax. 
Zillax Music Live channel, right? <laughs> Even though <laughs> there's not much music live being had lately. <laughs> hey, in summer, I'll be more active with music and animation. It's just that I, I'm doing that every single day. I need to rest somehow, right? So uh, I'm resting by playing video games with you guys. Well, you guys watching. Live Pokemon music current. Oh yeah, that is true. Yeah, that 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 is a thing. Haha, -ha, so ha, <laughs> there is music live. Well, remember when I said I'm kind of lurking a bit? That was because I was working on a game before stream. So I'm assuming it was the program plus how my laptop using. Oh no, extra. <laughs> you gotta be careful when uh, using more than one opening tabs. Oh, hair across. Uh, opening many tabs and programs. Especially if you're on a game creating one. That is very yikes. Whenever I use Unity, uh, I have to have other things closed because or else the PC will explode. Oh, welcome back, Greenlight. Oh, if you don't mind ask, uh, at me asking extra, what game engine do you use? For me, I, I started out with um, Unity, but maybe I'll move on to a different one in the future. Who knows? Depending on what I need. But yes, I did start on Unity. No, actually, if we go way back in the day of the old era of Zillax being young, uh, I used to. I started out with Game Creator, right? Uh, RPG Maker and all those things. Oh, come on! How are they getting these many critical hits? Time to commit genocide in Undertale. Yes, definitely. Okay, Green Lake. Definitely in Undertale, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, I started off with uh, Game Maker and um, RPG Maker. But after that, I moved on to Unity. And then when I started studying and they said, we're going to be using Unity, I was like, ho, 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 I am at least basic level with that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Definitely, right? Okay, bottle water, bottle water out of the mouth. Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, our Giovanni has been missing. But we're certain he's been waiting for the right time for our revival. Losing to you won't change the fact that you are unable to get in the radio transmitting room. You need my voice to unlock it. Back in my day, Team Rocket was functional. <laughs> oh, hello. Hail Giovanni. Murkrow is, mi is mimicking the voice of Petrol. You may be able to... Able to what? I actually love RPG Maker games. I just suck at puzzles, which is like 99%. <laughs> oh no, Neko. Oh, oh, it's uh, it's too bad. But back in back in like uh, Halloween of 2023, I played um, The Witch's House. Um, it was one of the not the first because the first one was I'm Scared. It was one of the first horror games I played, and on my uh, on my uh, you know channel <laughs> I did the first one I did play was a uh, I'm scared it was suggested by chat but then I played um uh you know but then I I played the witch's house and that is the first game we are going to uh do live editing we will do a, a stream of editing videos so that you guys can join in on the fun and editing the video soon and um yeah, it was the witch's house. I'm sure you would have enjoyed that stream, Neko. It was so funny. We should play another RPG maker soon, like Mad Father or, you know, any of those. The bird screamed the password. Thank you. Trying to grind Zubat is so difficult. Why do they only have leech life? Oh yeah, here's, here's the worst part, Akumu. He will not learn a flying type move until like level 20 or something like that. So yeah, you will learn ghost type, uh, bug type, 
everything except for a flying type move. You will learn a dark type move, and that will be your most useful one, Bite. Can I heal, please? I'm currently two Pokemon down. Nine left, okay. Get him, Green Link. May none survive. God damn it, I made a mistake. Oh no, I made a mistake. Mother. Hello. Oh hi, Zillax. How are you? Please no, Mother. Say it ain't so. I found a useful item in the shop. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Nine out of ten items that my mother buys in this game is berries. She will not buy anything useful. Nine out of ten, it is a berry. Why, mother? Why must you be like this? Gee, she spent your money again. Yeah, it has now become a recurring joke. But no, it, it, it is seriously a problem. I have never had the game do so many calls in one stream. I literally fought one battle, she called. Another battle, she called again. Like, one right after another. That has never happened to me in one of my playthroughs. So now it has become a recurring joke that my mother spends all the money. <laughs> oh, I, I remember back in, like, the second generation, she wouldn't call that much. Maybe it's a game thing, like, the, the remake thing happening. You're a growing boy, you need your berries. But mother... What about college? Fuck college! You need berries! Now open up. <laughs> Stuffs berry into your mouth. Oh, which which one are you playing, Green Link? Undertale Yellow or no normal Undertale? We should play another Undertale game soon. Like a mod or something. Okay, so now... Okay, stop it. Where's my, um, Neko boy? Here we go. We need you to level up. Waterfall. Oh, you're on water. Tis the black screen of death. Where is the last time we have saved? Let us find out. Oh, God. No, oh, no. Please. Oh, hey, that wasn't so bad. That, that's actually pretty doable. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's good, that's good. Okay, that, that's... Woo. So. Guess who forgot to save at the Pokemon Center? But hey, we can just skip over this. We already know what's going on. Blah, 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 blah. Team Rocket. Giovanni. Fanboy. Team Rocket's not as good as it used to be. Yeah, last time we had to, like, literally just go back from zero. <laughs> That was so bad! Uh, so yeah, we, we're, we're just gonna... Oh, right. Flying type. Oops. Luckily for us, this time it wasn't so bad. Flappy leveled up. Switch to Quagsire. Just to resist poison, because he ain't gonna hit him with dirt. Radicate. Surf on him! Sucker Punch. Mud shot. There you go. Good job. Ah, oh, my DS is the best. <laughs> it can speed through this. <laughs> I am definitely calling on Nintendo's um, <laughs> killer squad. They're just going to show up. The SEAL, Nintendo SEAL team is going to show up any time. They're going to point a gun to my head and say, Where's the DS, Zillax? Where's the DS? Show it now. <laughs> Your honor, I claim nuh uh. Yeah, this isn't so bad. We literally just- we were just here. I am so happy this worked. It actually worked out. Yeah, blah 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 blah. The password opens the door. Oh, <gasps> magic! And now we go to the Pokemon Center, because we need to heal. Desperately. <laughs> Mario shows up with a wrench. <laughs> it's a me! Mario! I see you have been playing on a... Bootleg DS. Mama fucker! 
<laughs> just shows up with the wrench. <laughs> Luigi with another wrench. The Super Mario Bros. <laughs> just say goodbye to your kneecaps. Oh no. Oh, what is wrong with me? Speeding. And hey, we're back here as if nothing happened. But just in case, I'm gonna do this again. Because I do not trust this. DS. Yes, DS. When will that joke get old? Never. Oh, Lance! Hold it right there! Bitch, who you? We can't let a brat like you do as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making it a lesson, you see. Well, that didn't stop you from getting destroyed by Red. Oh! So, it's time to finish you. However strong you may be, if it's two of us fight at the same time, you'll have no chance of winning. Don't you agree? <laughs> Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrashed. Lance, I choose you. Use Hyper Beam. <laughs> Hold it. A two-on-one battle. That is unfair. Typical of Team Rocket to be so sneaky. Allow me to join the battle. What? You had an accomplice? Where is your sense of dignity? I mean, I was the one that got dragged into this. I was just minding my own business. As an intern boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. I mean, you'll try. Hey, and it's actually a double battle. Cool. And back in the day, you would just not do it this way. But hey, it's a double battle. I'll take it. Oh, that is so overpowered! <laughs> He's a level 40! I mean, that's not the appropriate level for a Dragonite, but still, that is so powerful! Holy crap! Dude, <laughs> that is so unfair! Lance would just <laughs> knock them out, but I love how he always decides things with Pokemon. I know, right? I mean... He didn't decide it back on the top floor. Poor guy got hyper-beamed in the face. He literally took Pokemon Legends Arceus to heart and said, kill the guy with a giant laser. Oh, you're just gonna leave me here? Okay. <laughs> One left, go for it, Greenland. Get, show them the true meaning of determination. Hey, there we go. One down. Many more to go. Uh, yeah, we can just keep doing this. Heracross is a champ. Oh, are you guys excited for the new Legends? Pokemon Legends Zaw. I don't know why I'm pronouncing it like I think I saw Noble from Lost Paws pronounced like that, and ever since it's just stuck in my brain. Pokemon Legends Zaw. <laughs> so yeah, I am so excited for that game. I enjoyed the hell out of Legends Arceus. Now we're gonna play Legends ZA or Zaw. I'm gonna play the hell out of that. The moment it comes out, I am streaming it. The same with Paper Mario Remake. Mozillax, you already streamed Paper Mario. F Shut up, random viewer. I am playing it again because it is a real. Holy shit, it used Thunder. Uh, I will play it again because it is a remake and there may be new songs and new enemies and new everything. I want to play Paper Mario again. Finally, a Kalos I know, right? Heracross went to level 25 and he wants to learn Counter. I can say with confidence, no. As someone who played Pokemon Z. Uh, forget a move. Do I want to learn Counter Attack? Not really. Right? Nah. Nah. Give up on counter. We're good. Brick break is good. Aw, oh, motherfucker is minimizing. 
Gloom. Hey, Dragonite, can you do the thing where you kill whatever you touch? Please. Do it again. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy's overkill. Oh, there's no such... Uh, Lance, don't you think you're going overboard? There's no such kill quite like overkill. Am I right, Zillax? Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you're the one... <laughs> you're the one with the under-leveled Dragonite. How the fuck did you manage that? Pure determination! Lance, I don't think that's a thing. You don't get to be the champion of the Pokemon League without knowing how to spam full restores! Really? You had to do that to my Eevee? Why not target the Dragonite that's in the sky? Do it again, I dare you. You're about to get nuked. You're about to get nuked! Oh, and the damage is insane! Fuck you, Lance. <laughs> oh, I love that guy's animations. For those who don't know, I was referencing um, the animations from... Oh, was it Bur Burrito? I don't remember his name right now. He, the Pokemon Golder and um, Pokemon Rubier. Those animations were hilarious. <laughs> I'm such a YouTube enjoyer. <laughs> Dude. I, I always reference a bunch of uh, a bunch of um, animations, uh, um, content creator stuff. <laughs> you know, back in the day when streaming wasn't that much of a thing. I'm not even reading what's happening here. Sorry, Zilax. I saw how well you were doing, so I just had to. I just hung back. Is that really what you call hanging back and not helping? You literally destroyed every single one of them. You went overboard, man. That Pokemon is not getting healed at the Pokemon Center. That thing is not getting back up. <laughs> now, all there is left to do is turn off that radio. It's the machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. It's no fault of the electrode, so it makes me feel sad. But I do enjoy massacring them, so let's get to it, Zillax. Let's split the job. <laughs> Alright, so, um... I want to capture one of these guys because, you know, it's a unique Pokemon. It's one of my other arbitrary rules, just, just roll with it. If it's a unique Pokemon that you can only capture once in a- because it's an event or something, I will capture it. Even though I'm not gonna use it. Just blow up the machine! <laughs> I know, right? He can literally- he literally has a dragon that can shoot lasers and he's like, We're gonna have to kill the Pokemon! <laughs> Lance, are you okay? Oh gosh, do I enjoy massacring Pokemon that aren't mine. Oh, thank you, Static. Alright, please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. I don't know, man. I think it's a... I think Lance has problems, dude. I think he just like, enjoys killing Pokemon. Well, making them faint. Because we can just blow up the machine. Okay, we're good, we're good. I can only kill the Bellsprout scent help. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, is it because Totodile... You chose Totodile, and now you have a uh, freaking Zubat. Oh, it's gonna be a hard one, man. Well, hey, at least you, you didn't start with Chikorita, because the Flying-type gym would be horrifying for you. Uh, Ultra Ball should help, right? You're in constant pain, oh no! I mean, the Bellsprout Tower should be a good place to train your Zubat. Kind of. I mean, in my playthrough, it was a bit of... also difficult. Do some Switch training! Put Zubat in the front, like the good old days, right? 
before EXP share was actually good. Now EXP share is so overpowered. Turn that baby on and you can, you know, level up everything. There we go, one electrode. Yeah, once I get astonished, yeah, that is true as well. All right, we already caught the one. Now the rest of them get to go to sleep. Time for nappies. You have done more than enough. Come on. Time for Betty Bye. I know I said not to um, end their life, Quagsire, but now I want you to do it. So, Mud Bomb, please. Delete them. Oh, I didn't astonish, but I got Super Sonic. Oh, yes, that is actually really good. That is ac that can actually help you when it doesn't miss. <laughs> Dude, until you get Confusion Ray, Super Sonic is going to be so annoying. Last time I, 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 I tried Super Sonic, it did not work out. It actually got me killed because I wanted to confuse them. There we go. Good job, Quagsire. Good boy. One more year left. Speaking of good boy, Doggo is sleeping on my bed. He is just knocked out. About to beat the shoit out of a dummy. <laughs> Punch him in the gut. Punch the living ghost out of it. I was just looking at my dog just to make sure he's okay. We good? Oh, one more. You poor, poor electrode. I'll give you one more chance. Okay, no, he did not explode then, you know. Time to get rid of him. Hey, there you go. Oh, Green Link, it's almost time for you to fight Undying. Do the thing, Green Link. You know, she wants to be the hero. Someone has to be the villain. Give her the villain she wants. Help her be a hero. Hey, that's a level up. Oh no, it Angie. <laughs> It'd be an Angie ghost. Hello, Lance. That odd signal has been finally stopped. The lake should go back to normal. You're the best. <laughs> no, you're breathtaking. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. HMO5. Whirlpool. Here, have this useless HM. Gee, thanks, Lance. Change it to Pokemon to get across wild water. But keep this in mind, you can use that out of battle only with the badge of Mahogany Gym. Zillax, the journey to becoming the Pokemon Champion is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. You do not speak. You remind me of an other child that didn't speak, that has given me PTSD. <laughs> No, you're right. If you would give that easily, give up, if you would give up easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye, Lance. I thought we're all just playing games again. Yeah, that's what I like. That's that's what I expected in my community. That that is my lifelong dream. Everyone playing together. Recreating that scene that I talked about before, I will be annoying and recreate it again and again. Just playing a game, having another friend play a Game Boy next to me, and just playing together. Even though it's not the same game, you know? It's the same thing, it's just that we're like millions of miles away and on the internet. <laughs> it happy now, it dead now. Oh no, mother, Zillax. Did you? I did. I do not forgive you, I know. <laughs> okay, yeah, she has bought another item. We will go get that later. But first, we need to go to a gym. Let us heal first, because yikes. 
you haven't gambled in a while, extra- oh no. <laughs> Start small, and then just go bigger, slowly. Don't, don't lose all your cyber points in one hit. <laughs> because I know I can't stop you from gambling. Well, actually I can, I can deactivate it, but you know. Okay, so this gym is an ice-type gym, so... Quillava. Go. Do the thing. And Green Link lost points. I swear, the RNG gods are not friendly on my channel when it comes to gambling. Never mind, Extra just won a lot of points. There you go, congratulations, Extra. <laughs> oh, it's not the... Oh, no. Oh, no! It's an ice puzzle. That's right, they changed it. I mean, the second gen one was horrifying. This one isn't that bad. It's the Tem Village! Hoi! Hoi, I'm Tem! Hoi, I'm Temmy! Aw, oh, Temmy's were. Imagine Temmy's being real. Ugh! Oh, it's a jinx! Burn it! That won't hurt, Quillava. I'm fire. I have fire armor. You can't possibly hurt me. Ooh, nice. Let's go for a quick attack, just to make sure we get the first one. A. Oh, here we go. Those are the level ups I want to see. If the number is odd, do you lose the gamble? That, that has nothing to do with it. It is random and chance. It has nothing to do with, uh, you know, uh, odd numbers and stuff. Big stretch! Oh, oh god, the one that used to be racist burned. <laughs> I mean... Was it actually racist? I mean, it looked like it, right? But I don't think that was their intention. I think it was more of a... I think it was a reference to a specific yokai, and I don't think it was like doing the, the blackface thing. I think that wasn't their intentions. Like, seriously. I hope it wasn't. But you know. <laughs> That's just me hoping that it wasn't. I mean, they changed it anyway, so what the heck, right? Just in case they changed it. This was also the time when MT- Oh yes, Popo from Dragon Ball was made. Yikes. I know it's like, um... Oh, that is the wrong... Oh, we're getting raided, hold on. <laughs> Welcome in, raiders. Eerie, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, how are you guys doing? Here, let allow me to do a little shout out. Welcome in, everyone, welcome in. How are you doing? Boo, jump scare, eerie jump scare. <laughs> welcome in, everyone. My name is Zillax Music Live of the... Okay, why am I sad? I'm not supposed to be sad. Welcome to the Zillax Music Live channel, everyone. We are currently streaming Pokemon Heart Gold. We stream all sorts of game here. Do music composing, animations, voice acting, you name it. ADHD is a bitch. <laughs> we do anything my dopamine requires to do. Uh, Welcome in. Eerie, what were you playing? What were you doing? Because currently my commands don't show me what you were playing because I do be a disorganized boy and I don't I don't take the time to <laughs> fix stuff. Uh content warning. Oh, I've heard good things of that game. Is it fun? I should try that game. Okay, this puzzle should be this way, right? Hey, got it. Is it fun? I wonder. Um, where, where are we going? Now that I rem- Oh, wait, I can't do that right now. Hold on. I'll do that later. Hold on. It is a lot of fun. I want to plan a collab with V Ether. Yeah, definitely. We, we should try it out. Stray VTuber, welcome in. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? We are currently streaming on both YouTube and on Twitch. If you guys see that little chat box on my head, 
you will notice that maybe people, yeah, there you go, extra says hi over from YouTube. Anyone who has the red symbol on the left is from YouTube. Anyone with the purple symbol is from Twitch. So yeah, that way you guys can chat with each other. Uh, blah, 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 yeah. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> hello. Ah, oh, Patman also says hello. Oh, that's a water type. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is also a water type. All right, Flaffy, do the thing. Shock them. Give them a shocking experience. Hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you, Monster Kid? Who no longer has parents? Oh no! Oh, Undertale genocide is so scary at times, man. You don't realize it, but sometimes it gets very dark. Hey, Paradigm, how you doing? Thank you for the follow. How you been? I see you've been streaming here and there every once in a while. The problem is, most of the times when you're streaming, it's either when I'm streaming or when when I'm out working. But I will definitely join in one of your streams soon. I try my best to join everyone from Be Ether and everyone from Mayhem whenever I can. As same as I join uh, Neko and Akumu every once in a while. If I don't talk, I sometimes do join and lurk to help with numbers and stuff because I have to be working with the, you know, the music or the family business. So I do my best to join in on friends streams. Uh, Dugon? Okay, we can, we can keep that one. So, welcome in. Uh, do be warned, I go on many tangents. We speak of many things that may not have to do with the stream. Today has been a very, uh, talkative stream. We've been talking about everything except Pokemon. <laughs> everything from ADHD to my dog to funny things in nature. We talk about everything. Uh, no sweat, bro. It's all good. <laughs> Big stretch! <sighs> oh, that was a good one. Okay, let's continue. Green Link, this kid is in my way. What do I do? Fight, act, item, spare. <laughs> extra. Bomb? <laughs> that is the solution, Extra. Just use the bomb. Punt them to the moon. Help them become an astronaut sooner. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, the intrusive thoughts. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I do not control them. They just come out. Why wait? <laughs> Why wait? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I sw for anyone who has been a long time following me, they already know I have nothing against children. But for some reason, that joke is recurring for, for one thing or another. It all started in Pikmin. It started in Pikmin 2 because of uh, the Bulbman, the cannibalism thing, and the, the punting kids. And I swear I... I do not hate kids, but it just became a recurring joke, and now I can't get rid of it. <laughs> For some reason, it always comes back. I can't get rid of it, man. The dad allegations and the kid hurting kids allegations is never gonna leave me. It's always gonna be a shadow lurking over me like a ghost of my past. Ugh, some people have to deal with racism. Some people have to deal with the, the manslaughter. I have to deal with people calling me dad, father, daddy, or the, the, the killing, not killing, but kicking kids in the face. <laughs> Blame it on Pikmin. Then. It, dude, it, it's, it all started with Pikmin. Whoever, for people who were here from the OG days when I started, I started with Pikmin streams and stuff like that. It, it was hilarious. A lot of jokes that maybe you would not understand nowadays, but a lot of jokes that I have come back from the Pikmin days when we were streaming, Pikmin 1 and 2. Oh, uh, I mean, you can see them in the YouTube shorts. I did make a funny, um, I, I do make funny shorts editing and stuff. So if you don't know about the jokes, you can see them over there. You, you can catch up by watching the shorts. <laughs> the jokes come from those streams. Oh, wait, I already fought this guy? Oh, no, I did not. Never mind. We here at Zillax Twitch, we don't condone child violence. I, however, find it hilarious. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, and meanwhile, Green Link is fighting Undyne, the Undying. The heroine has made has been made. Wait, not wrong line. Y you got this, Green Link. Y you can do this. Meanwhile, we're fighting a skateboarder. Well, a skateboarder. Oh my fucking god! A snowboarder who is um you know snowboarding on ice. Can you do that? Is it possible to snowboard on ice? Oh, right, he is not an ice type. He can use ice type, but he's a water type. Brain don't brain well at three in the morning. Um, I guess I'll send in Heracross. He <laughs> grabs the board, mine now, bitch. <laughs> uh, if I win, the board is mine. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Ship Daddy Music Live. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not escaping the allegations that way. Extra! Good night. Have a good rest. I will see you next time. I just realized I've been using mobile data this whole time. Oh no, Akumu! <laughs> no! The data's going to be so done! I might have just accidentally glitched the fight in one shot. <gasps> How did you do that, Green Link? What the f- that would have been useful. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, fighting the snowboarder. You got this, Heracross. You can just karate chop them to death. <laughs> well, I'm boned. Oh no! <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh wait, so Cloyster is an ice type. Oh, I see. Cloyster is a water ice type. Gotcha. Understandable. Poison spikes? Mustard? That's ridiculous. Jam. I haven't done the, the Mad Hatter's voice in a long time. That is one of the voices I, have, I haven't practiced. The Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. And I mean, and I don't mean the, the live action. I mean the, you know, the, the cartoon one. Oh, chuckle! <laughs> Funny enough, uh, yeah, that is from a D and D session from a from a from a stream. But um, Chuckle's voice is very, very, very close to um, the Mad Hatter from uh, Alice in Wonderland. So before it was Chuckle's the clown's voice, <laughs> it was um, it was the Mad Hatter's voice. But I do love that uh, they are using that voice because it's very underused. Mustard. Jam! That would do the trick. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I, I, if you guys have not noticed, I love voice acting. Who knows? Maybe this... <laughs> okay, so I just slapped myself on the face and I just realized I'm getting myself into more work. Because I am currently finishing a master's degree in music composing. But I, I might start uh, in a, I might get into a, a voice acting academy next year. Maybe, I don't know, it depends. So yeah, remember when I said I was trying to get free time? Well, my ADHD said, <laughs> time to acquire a new skill officially. Because yes, I do do voice acting, but I do not have anything stating it officially, right? So my brain says, time to get the paper that says you are an official voice actor. Should I go back to uh, back to Snowden, catch up on the dust? Maybe, Green Lake, maybe we should. Hey, more aspiring voice actors. Love to see more people join the craft. Hey, I I've been voice acting since I was a child. <laughs> because I, I said, uh, my brain said, isn't it fun to just do uh, character voices? So do it. <laughs> So that's why I learned how to do many voices like Stitch or Goofy or <laughs> the Mad Hatter or just the general like uh, old man voices that I do. I have many characters and many voices I can make, right? <clears throat> so for some reason that is a skill I acquired from just playing around with my voice, imitating characters and all that jazz. But I do not have anything official to state that I am a voice actor, right? So maybe if I get a paper saying it, I can finally say, I'm an official voice actor. And what the hell am I doing? I am a flying type that is an ice type. I am so sorry, Crobat. Hey, he survived. He's a champ. OK, 
Okay, what do we do? 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 Okay, Quagsire. If you need any tips about a demo reel, let me know. I will definitely hit you up when I start with it. I will definitely hit you up, Akuma. Because I know you do voice acting officially, so uh, I, will, I will definitely ask for some tips here and there if, if you don't mind. I will annoy you sooner or later. <laughs> oh, when it comes to acquiring knowledge, I will be annoying. I am that pupil that will soak up knowledge like a sponge. What the? How did it heal? Okay, you know what? Amnesia. Amnesia, amnesia. Oh, rest. I'll be honored. I will be there. Oh, I have to... <laughs> that If I had, like... You know when you go to an interview and uh, they tell you, like, what is anything that bad that you can tell us about yourself? And you know the tip that they always give you, like, never say anything bad. Say something good, but turn it into something bad. Like, I am um, per a perfectionist. I, I tend to get work perfect, right? And you would normally say, that's not something bad. But you grab something good and you turn it into something bad. Well, that is something I can do, like, for example, uh, I tend to want to learn everything to better myself, right? And sometimes I uh, I try to learn many things at the same time because ADHD. And that is sometimes a bad thing. I should try and focus on one thing and then move on to the next. But you know, uh, I, I just want to learn as much as I can because brain be like that. It's not a phase, mom. It's who I am. <laughs> You're not my mom, mom. Okay, this, this battle is getting slow. Just do the thing. Let's lower his, um, let's lower their accuracy, yeah. Pff, pathetic weak dugon. Quagsire is a wall of meat. He will resist everything you throw at him. There we go. Even Crobat got some EXP off of that. Now let's go heal before we fight the gym leader because I believe this gym leader is going to utterly destroy us. So yes, your AI boy who has ADHD, who has learned animation, 3D modeling, music composing, voice acting, will soon be an official voice actor as well. Coming to your theater soon. <laughs> and a game developer. I'm not, okay, I'm not, okay, here's the thing. I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm not trying to say I'm better than anyone. All I'm saying is that for some reason I learned many useless things that somehow worked out for me and they are helping me in what I do currently. <laughs> I'm still grinding Zubats and help- oh no Akumu. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. All you can do is grind until it, it learns something. And the worst part is, you need to grind the happiness, so you cannot make it, you can't, you have to try and not let it faint. Don't let it faint, because or else the crowbat phase is going to be very long. Put it first in your party, because apparently, in the fourth generation remake of these games, just having them walk around helps with friendliness, and I didn't know that. But now I do. Which is why I should have Eevee in first place. Why am I not doing that? You dum-dum. Hey, dum-dum. You got me, gum-gum. Who here remembers of Night, of the Night in the Museum? I may be making myself old. I may be dating myself right now. And I don't mean in a, in a romantic way. I mean like putting a date on how much a how old I am. But who here remembers of Night in the Museum? <laughs> I've seen it, yes. Yes, that is, that is a good movie. Hey, gum, hey, dum dum. You got me, gum gum. My dum dum wants to talk. Uh, what do we do? I should not have Eevee out in this instance because ice types will destroy Eevee. And because they're because higher levels, not because other stuff. I remember when it came out. You're not old. <laughs> I mean, it depends, right? People would call my age old at this point, but for me, 
<laughs> this may sound cliche or very wrong depending on the context, but for me, age is just a state of mind. For me, I, I am just... I don't know, man. Age is very weird for me. Every, every time people get old, they're like, do you feel different? No, not really. I do. Ne I never feel different. I just feel me, but with a bigger number. I am leveling up, but I'm still in the same state of mind. Help. Should I feel different? Should I be um, changing? I was always already responsible in a way. I, I was very mature for my age, so I don't feel any change within me. I just... Did he fall asleep in the middle of a battle? So I just kept getting older. I'm currently 28, and this year I will be 29 in May. And May 1st is my birthday, so I am very close to that 29. It is creeping on. Oh, it knows Snore. That is just fantastic. And I do have that... Existential. Oh, Stinky Cheese Jack, welcome in. I just saw your message. Welcome in. How have you been, pal? <clears throat> yeah, our birthdays are closed, Neko. Mm, big stretch. So yeah, I've always had. You know how people have a uh, the the thirty year old crisis. The was it forty or thirty? The, the crisis of the thirty year old. Like, like people go through this. Oh no! Uh, well, for me, it, 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 I don't think it's that. It's more of a, um, what am, where am I going with life in a way, right? Because since I was young, okay, well, let's get, let's go deep. Let let's let's get serious here. For me, you know how people say when you get older, life will move faster. So enjoy your younger age. No, no, that 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 is an existential. My existential crisis came very early. I was a kid. The, it, and it wasn't even the fear of death that got me hard, it was more the fear of time. And not about- I was never um, scared of dying, it was more of the fear of time passing fast. And ever since I grew, like, when I when I turned- was it 8? I don't remember what, to, what year it was, but when I turned a certain age, like 8 or 7, time just suddenly started moving faster. And faster, and it-, it and I don't know, man. It just fell... I felt that crippling depression of time is moving fast. And I feel like I'm scared of not dying, but like finishing my lifespan and not doing anything with it, right? And I know I'm... Uh, and I know in the back of my head, I, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Being able to stream, compose music, and create video games, and do voice acting, even though I don't make it big, just doing the things that I like is more than enough. I already know the solution to that existential crisis, but I can't help but feel it. I, it I'm scared of not doing what I want to do, right? That, that is my fear. Besides the <laughs> thalassophobia. <laughs> <clears throat> Bro for real had his midlife crisis at it? Yeah, definitely. So it was... That's, that's my fear. Vulcan strolls in, uh, wow, your birthdays are close, hydrate. Uh, I couldn't wait to be an adult and have enjoyed life much more as an adult. I never really had that um, feeling of, I want to be an adult, I, because I just felt like it's just going to be the same, isn't it? <laughs> For me, it was always like that. I never had that thought of, when I'm an adult, I'll be able to drive. It, it's more, for me, I was, I think I was very patient. I was like, I guess I'll just acquire the skill when I need it, right? Because right now, I can't anyway, so, meh. I'll just wait for it. Oh, I, 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 I can't hydrate. My bottle is empty right now. I was going on a chugging spree not too long ago, and my bottle is now empty. And I'm not gonna go refill it now because, meh. I'm playing games. Oh no! This is what happens when you don't pay attention. You're fighting a level 34 polyswine. And you got destroyed. Quagsire, do the thing. I realized recently that things that are specifically from Canada are from anywhere else, and it's sort of jarring to me. Yeah, sometimes things don't globalize as much as you do think. It's funny how that doesn't happen, right? 
you tend to forget why am I getting all philosophical today? I, I, this, this is probably just my hyperactivity. But uh, let's keep rolling with it. it. It's happening now, so why cut it short? So, normally, when you live in a place, you tend to forget that when you're there, stuff is only there. Unless it does globalize, right? Let's take McDonald's, for instance. That thing, that shit is everywhere. I know I'm just grabbing the generic thing, but... Um, many things that where you live are actually nowhere else. When you start traveling, and I have been traveling since very young, when you start traveling, you start to realize everything is different everywhere you go, man. You, you, you realize that very soon, you're like, oh wait, I can't get this thing I'm used to here. And you have to adapt, right? And for many people that never travel, you, you never get that... I don't know, it, it, it's weird to me. As a traveler, I, f I have this sense of I don't belong anywhere. I feel like I can belong anywhere I go. But at the same time, I feel like I don't belong anywhere. I've been to so many places already, and I've lived in many places at this point in my life. And it just, you have this sensation of you don't belong anywhere, but at the same time you do? It's weird. And it's also, and it's weird that, going back to what Akumu said, uh, um, it, it, you find, when you start traveling, you start noticing that not everything, like the items you buy at the supermarket, they're different everywhere. And you start realizing, oh no, I'm gonna have to adapt <laughs> because I can't find my favorite stuff. So it's weird in that sensation, right? Uh, oh right, we just won another gym badge. Zillax, you're streaming, remember. Uh, priorities. Badge number seven. Right there, on the right side of the screen. Finally. Sadly, no one has evolved, so we can't really change that today either. I mean, we still have time. Yeah, blah, 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 badge. Funny. Cool. Not gonna lie, Hotland slowed down fucking slap. Dude, Hotland has amazing music, no matter what speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you give me? Is that Blizzard? Ice Beam? Aurora Beam? I guess it's Blizzard because he didn't really tell me what it is. Oh, by the way, uh, fair. <laughs> I tend to yap and uh, go on tangents a lot, so if at any time I yap too much, let me know. And I do have a redeem for the hey listen, so if I don't read chat for anything, or I miss your message, just drop a hey listen and I'll instantly dart to the chat. Because sometimes the bot spam, you know my, uh, my bot with the redeems and all that stuff, uh, puts a lot of messages and I might miss one. Oh hey, it's Professor Elm. Zillax, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Zillax, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that can't be true. Uh, I, honestly, I don't remember Professor Elm's um, voice. I do remember Professor Oaks because um, th that's the voice I gave him since the first game. Sorry to bug you. Take care. So that's the voice I'm giving him right now. So screw it. <laughs> Gorsh, Mickey. Uh, let's go heal, and let's go see what uh, Professor Elm's talking about. My voice is getting deeper because my voice is tired. Boy. No, not that deep. Okay, cool. That's pretty close to Elm's voice on it. Really? How am I getting these? <laughs> People tell me... I, I, I don't remember Professor Elm's, Elm's voice, to be honest. I really do not remember his voice. The same thing happened with Kurt last time. People told me, yo, you are spot on Kurt's voice. I'm like, really? I was just going for my random deep voice because, yes, I did not want to go for the old man's voice because I, I'm tired of spamming the old man's voice for Professor Oak. Uh, what are we doing? Fly. We're flying. That's what we're doing. Crowbat, do the thing. Take me to, no. Take me to Goldenrod, Crowbat. Yes, I was the one who, yeah, yeah. Domino specifically was the one who told me. <clears throat> Domino was the one to tell me that Kurt, your Kurt impression was really good, uh, and I was like, I, I wasn't doing a Kurt impression, I just assigned a random voice. <laughs> I, 
I, I tend to forget what their voices are like if I don't watch that show a lot. Or if they are a forgettable character for me. Sometimes characters are forgettable if I don't see them enough. There we go. And for Professor Oak, it's just a funny voice I put to him. It's like, ah, oh, gold, welcome back. It's the short boy, the short king, the small stack. Professor, can you please stop? Never. <laughs> what were we doing? Oh yeah, radio tower. Is this the radio tower? Oh yeah, this is definitely the radio tower. Hello. Who are you? We have some business going on. I was told not to let anyone pass but Team Rocket. Do you understand? You are only allowed to come through here when you are wearing the cool black uniform for Team Rocket. Gotcha. Find a cosplay, come back. Understood. Understood. I can do cosplay. I'm good at cosplay. I did it back in my teenager years. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, memories, uh, deleting, deleting, suppressing, suppressing, memory suppressed. Hello. Huh? Are you a newcomer too? We had to recruit new members for the radio tower transmission. Then we ran out of uniforms. I heard the studio has some, so... I decided to borrow one. Since you're here, why don't you change as well? Yeah, definitely. New recruit. Muffet's home is done? Cool. I'm a trash bin. Muffet. <laughs> Interesting enough, I've only done cosplay as an adult. Ooh. I mean, nothing wrong with cosplaying. It's just that I, I, I feel like that was one of those years I do not want to remember myself. I, I feel like everyone else can pull off these things. Oh, here comes the self-esteem issues. I, I can. I always feel like everyone else can pull these stuff off, but for me, I feel like my uh, tan skin gets in the way of cosplaying. And I don't mean like I don't like my tan skin. Don't get me wrong. I love myself enough. I love my height. I love my skin. I love how I look. It's just that uh, I feel like I, I can't cosplay certain characters, right? And I don't think that you have to have the skin or the, the hair color to cosplay. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. It's just me, myself. I feel like I shouldn't do it. <laughs> it's like I'm always encouraging others to do it. No, go for it. You can do it. To you can totally pull it off. But when it comes to myself, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> God damn it. I myself am the, the 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 parent that is always like, you're not good enough. You need to do better. <laughs> hey, Team Rock! Oh, it's Nut Kicker. Team Rocket, stop going around in groups and troubling people, you cowards. Huh? Are you Zillax? What are you doing here? No way. You think you're strong now? That you look like them? That's foolish. You shouldn't wear those things. Idiot! I'm trying to infiltrate. What? You! You're not a newcomer. Then battle me. I mean, he just stripped me of my clothes. That doesn't mean I'm not a newcomer, but hey, good judgment. If you want to be that specific character, then I encourage you to cosplay them. I mean, yeah, I, I never have anything against people like, imagine like, imagine I want to cosplay, I don't know, what, what is the, the opposite, the most opposite character I can cosplay, like, I don't know, Sephiroth, he has white hair and he's not tan skin like me, that is the most not character I can fit, right? But I, I, always, I always like to tell people, do what you want to do. If you want to cosplay Sephiroth, even if you don't have the skin tone, even if you don't have the white hair, go for it. For me, I just don't want to do it because I feel like I'm not doing it correctly. <laughs> because I'm like that to myself. I am my biggest fan and my biggest um, critic at the same time. <laughs> I have to, for the funnies, the Undertale yellow funnies. Oh, what are you going to do, Green Link? I am worried on what you are trying to do, Green Link. 
I fear your actions. Uh, Eevee. Yeah, we need to up, we need to level up Eevee ASAP. I've been ugh, hiccups. Ugh, hiccup number two. Ugh, hiccup number three. Uh, I've been um, I've been saying this in the start of the stream. We need to level up Eevee, and I'm not doing it. We need that Umbreon, man. So switch training it is. Hyper Fang, huh? That has a high critical hit, right? No, not this time. Brick break them. Break them like a brick. Break them like a Snickers bar. <laughs> like a Kit Kat bar. Break them like a Kit Kat. Give them the old... <laughs> I am so sorry for anyone who finds that unpleasant. That was another intrusive thought. I just let it rip. Ugh, oh, cracking. Cracking the knuckles. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me through. I was trying to be sneaky. Yeah, and you... You you broke my sneak mission. It was supposed to be a stealth mission, you idiot. Huh. Typical idea of the meek. No matter. I'll let you handle this. I have to defeat the Dragon Tamer. What's his name? Lance. After that, it will be your turn. Be ready for it. Um, sure? Dude, I just exist, and this guy just exists to spite me for some reason. Let's save, just in case. As you prepare for a robotic showdown with a revolver by your side, you get the distinct feeling of deja vu- Oh, that thing, I remember that. The distinct feeling of a past life fighting and massacring a robot. Man, I love- I enjoyed the hell out of Undertale Yellow. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. We have uh, nine to ten more minutes, nine to eight more minutes of stream. Let's keep going. Oh, that was almost perfectly synced. I almost did a thing there. Come on, help me evolve my boy. Boy. Not listen. I can't do Kratos' voice. I'm not sick. Whenever I get sick, I can pull off a very mean Kratos' voice from God of War. Y you do see how my voice is a little bit high pitched sometimes, but I can do low voices. I, I do. I think. I think I'm a baritone. <clears throat> but sometimes, whenever I'm sick, my voice doesn't go any more high pitched. It just goes very, very low. <laughs> And, for some reason, I am gifted with the God of War, Kratos' voice, and it is hilarious. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to catch it on stream yet. I will one day, hopefully. I really, really want to catch it on stream one day. It is so funny. Imagine my VTuber model <laughs> doing the Kratos' voice. That would be hilarious, man. I would be laughing more than talking. Bro think he an instrument. Uh, no. Baritone is definitely a voice thing. You know, like soprano... Uh, what, what are they in English? I, I know them in Spanish right now. Uh, soprano... Uh, tenor... Bass... Oh my god. I know I'm mixing both the, the girl and vo boy's voice, but you know what I mean. The voice types, right? You know what I'm talking about. Alto, tenor, bass. There you go. Thank you, Neko. And then there's baritone. The baritone goes, it can go, it, it can't go to the extreme like other voices, but it can reach different uh, tones, you know? It can go high and very low, but it can't go to the extreme like the bass or the alto and the tenor, right? The baritone is like the... <laughs> it's basically me, the jack of all trades, master of none. Ah, oh, damn it! I wasn't paying attention. Neko, no. <laughs> I will have revenge. Heracross, kill it. Do you mean faint? No, kill it. No one faints, my boy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Kill it. <laughs> oh no. Family friendly, Zellax. Keep it family friendly. Never! I'm not family friendly. I will never be family friendly. I mean, you know. I I'm as family friendly as I can be, but I do swear. I do, uh, you know. <laughs> I sometimes curse like a sailor. I tend to not go overboard because, you know, why should I? Random awkward silence is because I was looking at my dog because I'm giving him the stink eye because he currently jumped off from the bed. He should not be doing that. Oh, and there he is just lying right next to me. Stop tugging at my strings, my hard strings. I'm trying to scold you and here you are just cuddling up next to my leg. I'm weak. I'm weak! <laughs> Break him like a Kit Kat bar. Dilex, the next second, maybe pacifist, ain't the way to go, partner. <laughs> Genocide. <laughs> He's all happy. <laughs> Zillax, the normal go lucky happy boy. It minds nothing, does not doesn't mind getting insulted, doesn't care when they steal from him, they hurt their friends and family. Genocide. <laughs> Goes dark instantly. I should get a voice changer, right? It, it should be funny to have a voice changer. I can't find a good one. Because a lot of them are for paid, and of course, they, they are paid versions. And not just like, you pay it once. No, 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 no. You pay it once and you buy different voices. No, 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 that's not how it works. They want monthly subscriptions. And you, you do know I don't like monthly subscriptions, even though I do have to do it because uh, it's the only way to get some programs, unfortunately. But hey, it is what it is sometimes. Evie, are you okay, pal? Are you mad at me? Neko is on the lookout. Oh no, he's just being a, a good boy and watching out for my back. Okay. Uh, how many more can we take out before the stream is about? It's time to end. Let's find out. Gotta go, finally going back to school tomorrow. Okay, Green Link. Have a good rest, get ready for school, do your best. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us today. Always a pleasure to have you on board. Oh, that's a poison type. Hold on, uh, I have something for that. Quagsire? Do the thing. For some reason, I remembered the... <laughs> I remember from The Legend of Zelda, um... Mar Marnie? No. Yes, Marnie? Was it Marnie? Yes, Marnie, the, the farmer girl. Calling him Bugger. <laughs> Calling Link Bugger. We should play, um... Um... Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Those two are my favorite Legends of Zelda. We should play those on stream. I never have played those on stream. And I never have 100%ed those games. So that could be one of our challenge runs that we currently don't have. Do we? Hold on. We're playing Pokemon. Playing um, Luigi's Mansion. Oh, we are playing a challenge run. We're, we're, we're playing. We're trying to get 100% on Luigi, or at least a good rating on Luigi's Mansion. So we are already playing a challenge run. Cool. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just that I like to play at least like to diversify the streams. I like to have one short game, like a one that you can play in one sitting or two, uh, a long story game, a game that I can do like a little challenge run. <clears throat> either 100% or the best possible. And maybe an online game. 
which we have not done in quite a while. But as you can see, we have currently one least one less stream day because I'm working on Friday. So yeah. Link into the past is my favorite, and I've never finished it. Oh right, the Super Nintendo one. <gasps> is it finally time? Is Eevee doing the thing? Oh, Eevee's going to be a big boy. So you know what that means. Finally, we have Umbreon. Hey, Umbreon. Neko is finally an edgy boy. And mother, what did you do? Oh, hey, Zilax, I hear you were in trouble fighting Team Rocket, so I bought you some berries that you can snack on while you're fighting them. Mother, I need revives and super potions, not berries. These berries don't even heal. Nope, I've got you the most useless one. <laughs> hey! Okay, just two more left to evolve, and we will have a full, fully evolved team. Look at that. It is almost time. All we have to do is evolve Flaffy and uh, Quillava, and also give everyone nicknames. And we should be golden and ready to face off anyone. Let's save once again, just in case. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I have to save because I don't want uh, the glitch to happen. <laughs> uh, hiccups. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Look at him! Neko is very eager. Neko is very eager for justice. <laughs> ah, Jen Carlos, welcome to the stream. Um, I do believe uh, we have been streaming for three hours. It is currently 3.43. I think it is time we have um, our, outros, our outro thing, our, our, our outro screen. We say our goodbyes and talk about what we're streaming tomorrow. Because it is currently quite late. So let's save a save state on my uh, definitely authentic 3DS. And now let's go to our outro screen with our relaxing music, shall we? Ah, after one little game spasm, back to the good old outro screen. <laughs> so. That was a very productive stream. We talked quite a bit. We talked about a lot of stuff. We did a lot of things here, but let me do a little thing that I like to do every once in a while. So um, first of all, here's this. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. A little shout out for my friend Neko for joining in today. And also, hold on, I do have a cooldown, but can I do it? I know I can do this. I also want to give a shout out to my other friend over here. Hey, there you go. And there is Akumu as well. He streams a lot of Valorant. Neko streams all sorts of games, be it old school and new. Definitely go check him out. And Akumu is also a voice actor. And Neko uh, does music composing as well. So you will definitely enjoy their stuff over there. If you enjoy what I do, you will enjoy what they do over there. Also, guys on YouTube, definitely go check them out. <clears throat> Let me uh, send those links right there. Let me get those on YouTube. Hold on. Copy the link. This is Akumu. And this is Neko's link. Those are the links. So, yeah, we have done three hours of streaming today. I was very hyperactive. I needed to get as much energy, so today was a longer stream. Um, so, what do we have on tomorrow's menu? It, I am so happy if it is the game I think it is. Let me go check. But Zelex, you made the thing! <laughs> I know, but I don't remember. <gasps> yes! Tomorrow we have In Stars and Time. It is a game I am so excited to play, and I want you guys to see it. Definitely go check out. It's an indie game. I am so excited to play it. So tomorrow we will be playing In Stars and Time. It is an indie uh, game, pixel art. I am so excited to play it. 
<clears throat> but for today, that's going to be it. So thank you everyone for tuning in, even if it's post-stream. Remember to check out our socials down below in the Twitch panels or YouTube description. You can check out Natia's Instagram for drawings and animations that she does over there. Or you can check out any of my other socials to see any of my future content. Either music that I compose, games that I create, streams, or funny videos. And in the future, animation. 3D animation. <clears throat> also, definitely check out the Mayhem Discord or any of my team members down below. They are also all kind people and do a lot of cool stuff on their channels. They have all sorts of varieties to check. <clears throat> but besides that, consider leaving a like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells on YouTube, or follow me on Twitch, because I dual stream since Twitch gave me the power and they made a terrible mistake. Haha! <laughs> I mean, thank you, Twitch. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you don't want to miss anything, if you don't want to do the time um, calculations because I live in a different zone than you, definitely subscribe and stuff. You will get notified for whenever I do anything in the future. And I do quite a lot of stuff because ADHD. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoy the music from the intro or outro screen, uh, that is from my, um, you know, you can find it all on my YouTube channel. Any of the VODs, any of the stuff, it's all over there. But for now, that's going to be it. I will see you all tomorrow for our next stream. So, bye bye ciao, and sayonara. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye Bye, Neko. Bye, Domino. Bye, Akumu. Bye, Patman. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>